Radio Play Comics is meant to adapt the stories mostly of great unadapted old and forgotten comics from the past. I use voice acting and narration to abridge the work as much as possible without lessening its impact and to bring these stories to life the best way I can. Please enjoy. Hi, I'm Nick, and welcome to the Fusion Space for today's episode of Radio Play Comics, Superman, Emperor Joker. Published in the year 2000, Emperor Joker is actually already being spoiled by its title. As the story began running under the title of Superman Arkham, and it's not revealed until halfway through that it's the Joker in charge. Instead, Superman merely wakes up in a twisted alternate reality with no explanation other than that his way of life as being a hero in Metropolis was actually a delusional dream, and he has always been imprisoned in this world's Arkham Asylum for it. But every day he escapes his prison and tests the limits of this reality until he is stopped by its true hero Bizarro No. 1 and returned where poor misguided souls like him belong. After all, everyone knows that 2 plus 2 equals fish. The short version is that Mr. Mixius Pitlick was looking for new ideas on how to menace Superman for his own entertainment, and thought it might be a good idea to give the Joker 1% of his powers to see the limits of his imagination. Somehow, the Joker took control of the rest though, leaving Mixie only 1% and a hard scrabble existence in Joker's madhouse world, desperately trying to get a message through to Superman. This is my first episode from this era of Superman, known to most fans as the Jeff Loeb and Ed McGuinness era, because of its iconic art style and Jeff being the lead writer on the most important stories. And it began with Superman Y2K and the introduction of Brainiac 13 as a villain, who in that event would replace the current brick-and-mortar metropolis with a version from a thousand years in the future, a change which stuck around after Brainiac 13 was banished, making Metropolis truly the city of tomorrow. So Superman already had a lot to deal with before this madness happened. But I mostly wanted to mention it because of the difference in art style that went with it and a general shift in Superman's design as well. The McGinnis look is iconic to many fans and is indicative of this period. Epic stories like Emperor Joker are a big part of why that is. I don't want to oversell it, but I do think that the Superman books were the best when they were linked into one story with the triangle numbers, and of that era this might be when the books were at an all-time high mark of quality. Another great story from this period and one that I'll eventually adapt, is our worlds at war. But what, you might ask, of Batman? Where is his place in Joker's world? That, dear viewers, is a mystery I'll leave you with for now, but rest assured that Batman will play a fundamental role in the events to come. But he also may possibly undergo the greatest suffering the character has ever known. Superman will have a long road to follow before Batman is found, though, and this event will also involve the members of the Super Family, Steel, Superboy, and Supergirl, all of whom also have twisted variant lives the Joker has placed them in. Along the way, this story will be packed with jokes, references, and Easter eggs, which I'll point out and explain many of in the margins for the benefit of the non-readers, and because they're all at least 20 years old now. And now that the introduction is over, let's begin. Each book in this part was printed with the title and branding on both the top and bottom of these images, so that either way could be seen as upright. Suddenly, You can't keep me here! I'll get free! Deep within a stone prison, Superman breaks the chain holding him from the ceiling. Do you hear me? Metropolis, the city of tomorrow. Midnight. Superman, Arkham, Part 1. It's a mad, mad, mad world. I will be free! He shatters the chains holding his arms and legs. <laughs> Superman crashes through the prison's brick wall to the outside. I warned you what would happen if you dragged me back here. Try it again, and I tear this place apart, brick by brick. He lands in the courtyard and runs for the outer wall. Now it's up, up, and away! Superman jumps over it and escapes. <sighs> Warden Grundy, he's escaped again. What are we going to do? Do? We do what we do every night, Officer Day. As long as Superman can leap tall buildings in a single bound, there is only one man who can stop him. The Warden picks up a red phone and makes a call. JLA Headquarters, The Moon. 
Bizarro number one answers the phone. Good bite? No say anything. You am on ultra high frequency so nobody can hear. Sir, we need your help. Me no come. Thank the Emperor. We knew we could count on you. My enemies, me no go to Earth. It a big secret. We heard. Say, Mr. P, don't forget to open the window. Bizarro flies out through the window. Hello. A wanted poster reads, Wanted for murder, Superman, a.k.a. the man who steals. Extremely dangerous. Contact the JLA. Superman tears it down. He crushes it and the concrete it was attached to in his hand. Wanted. Hunted. They say I killed a man. A man I've never heard of. Nobody has ever heard of. Someone named Lex Luthor. The building it was on collapses. <laughs> Killed him with my own bare hands. But then why do I remember that Superman doesn't kill? <laughs> Superman leaps away and does not hear the cry of a small man in a derby hat. Hey, you! You big blue numbskull! You gotta listen to me! Chugga 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 chugga! Chugga 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 chugga! whose derby hat is all that remains after a giant train runs him down. Superman bounds past the Marquee Theater, playing raunchy Amazon films starring Wonder Woman. <sighs> Wrecking that building will bring out the SCU for sure, maybe even the JLA. And a huge round bomb atop the Acme building, so big it could almost be a planet. <sighs> Wish I had some place to hide, or a disguise. Like a secret identity. Huh. Finding you was so hard, Superman. Bizarro flies down to intercept Superman as he leaps across the rooftops. <sighs> they clash in midair. <clears throat> I won't go back to prison, Bizarro. Not now. Not ever. You no give up, Superman. Me no kill you. Bizarro punches Superman across the city. <clears throat> <sighs> bah. Me miss you good that time. I have to get the upper hand. As long as he can fly and all I can do is leap. He lands on a flagpole and bounces off. Come on, Bizarro. See if you can catch me now. The flagpole springs back and whacks Bizarro in the face. <laughs> Yum, that sure and feel good. Superman tackles Bizarro towards the ground. You've got to listen to me. You've got to believe me. I'm not a criminal, and punches it. <laughs> you am right, Superman. Me believe you. You know I'm criminal. And me know I'm Bizarro number one. Bizarro envelops Superman in his flame breath. <laughs> Idiots. They'll do more damage to my city than the SCU does in a month. In a blazing fireball, Superman crashes into Lois Lane's penthouse, collapsing at her feet. <laughs> now what? Help me. I know you've got weapons that can stop Bizarro. It's what you do. Is this someone's idea of a joke? Why would I help the most wanted criminal in Metropolis? I... I don't know why, Lois. Clark? So, you want my help? Yes, very much so. Hopeless, merciless, help this Superman. Two cybernetically enhanced hounds pounce on him. Back to prison, where he belongs. By the way, I didn't work every hour of every day building Lane Corp so any common hoodlum could call me Lois. The name is Lane. Miss Lane. Remember that for next time. Not that there will ever be a next time. There will be a next time, Lois. Some way, somehow, I'll... Bizarro crashes through the wall. <laughs> Bad morning, Miss Lane. Bizarro, what did I ever do to deserve this? The JLA is going to reimburse me for these damages. The check is in the mail. He collects Superman and flies out through the hole he made. <laughs> now it's down, down, and near. Hmm. Why would Superman risk everything to come here? Unless... Hmm. Lois Lane, that's the stupidest idea in the world. As Bizarro streaks overhead with his prisoner, his best pal, Jimmy Olsen, gravedigger lad, tends to the graveyard of solitude below.
which plays host to the graves of Nightwing, Robin, and Huntress. How you stay so weak, Superman? Nobody knows Bizarro Number 1 is the weakest there is. Because everything is all mixed up. Not just you or me, but this entire city, and maybe the whole... Superman drives Bizarro down through a dock into the water. <laughs> you keep talking, Superman. Me care that you say good things about Bizarro Number 1. But everybody says good things about my metropolis and dies. Me like you, Superman. Bizarro holds his head under. <laughs> That's why me no kill you. <laughs> Get out of the water. Hmm. Why me no hear voice in Bizarro Number 1's head? Suddenly an axe chops the rocks nearby. <laughs> an axe attached to the arm of the fin-headed Aquaman. I do not care if the two of you kill each other. But if Aquaman cannot go in the water, then no one does. You make me cry, fish face. See how you hate heat vision. Bizarro stops him with freeze vision. <laughs> he flies away with Superman. <sighs> Wait till me not tell my enemies in the JLA. We're not having frozen fish for dinner tonight. They return to the prison. You let Superman go now, Warden Grundy. So him escape right away. <coughs> I'll beat you tomorrow night, Bizarro. <coughs> this country is safe again, Bizarro. Thanks to you. The triumphant hero Bizarro flies away. Hello. <sighs> ah! Th that screaming every night. Who is it? Where does it come from? Calm down, Officer Day. Nothing can hurt us behind these walls. The mysterious scream echoes across the entire city. Ah! Somebody's in a world of pain, huh? Shouldn't you go investigate it, Big B? Bizarro know I'm hungry, Jim. You know get Bizarro number one some Super Burger Boys without fries. Bizarro goes to rest in his graveyard of solitude, while Lois Lane ponders her array of wigs along with the Daily Planet's headline. Bizarro captures Superman again. Hmm. Superman. You can't keep me locked up. I'm breaking out of here. I will be free. Superman is once again chained up where he belongs, deep within Arkham Asylum. Kids, check out our next chapter where anything can happen, and sometimes does. The small man in the derby hat rushes down the street. He's late, he's late, for a very important date. Scurrying through the streets of Metropolis, agitated, worried, frightened half to death. It's only a matter of time, the little man realizes, before it happens again. But he can't let it happen. He has to make it through this time. As much as it calls him to admit it, there's only one man alive who can set things right. Superman! His thoughts race. Superman! Got to get to Superman before it's too... <laughs> Out of nowhere, a safe falls on him, again leaving just the derby hat behind. Supergirl is known as Niece Matrix here, and she serves a religious order devoted to Alfred E. Newman of Mad Magazine fame as a nun. Of all her orders, she is unique because she has visions and is seeing one now of Superman calling for her help. The other sisters find her suspended in midair, having sprouted wings of flame. They try to pull her down, but an energy blast repels them, and they decide they must call in Oswald Loomis, a.k.a. the prankster in our world, for an exorcism. <laughs> Superman Arkham Part 2 Crazy About You Bullets bounce off of Superman as he vaults over the asylum walls once again. <laughs> Every night, he thinks as the bullets fly, as the alarms scream. It's the same thing every night. I manage to break free of my cell, vault the walls of this hellhole. And every night, he hunts me down. Every night, he brings me back to Arkham. But not this time. Superman leaps over the tall buildings of the city in single bounds. <sighs> he doesn't know how long they had him locked away. His life, if you could call it that, has become a swirl of darkness and rage, frustration and confusion. They say he's insane, 
and maybe he is. They say he murdered a man, a man named Lex Luthor, and that he can't believe. But in a world where time has collapsed and memory has lost all meaning, how can he be sure? Maybe, he muses, I'm everything they say I am. A savage, a killer, a danger to society. Yet on the periphery of consciousness, the edge of awareness, there's an echo of something, a truth once known, long forgotten, that dissolves into mist each time he reaches for it. <sighs> when he sees the light in the sky, he sighs, disgusted. He's here already, Superman thinks. That's what they call him at Arkham, Superman. That's the name on the dozens of wanted posters displayed across the city. A strange name, but one that somehow feels right to him, in a world where everything else feels unbearably wrong. He stops when a light fills the sky above him, but it soon becomes clear that this isn't the dreaded hunter come again to capture his prey. No, this is someone very different. A helicopter approaches. You, on the roof, if you value your freedom, get up here. The voice is cold, unpitying. Yet, even filtered through the copter's speakers, something about it pierces his heart. For a moment, he's filled with an illogical hope, as if, at long last, he's found the very thing he's been searching for, night after endless night. You have three seconds. Then the moment passes. Hope? This is a world devoid of it. A world where pain and betrayal are all he's ever known. Hmm. Why, then, does he make the leap? Why, then, does he go to her? He jumps inside it. <sighs> well, are you going to squat there like an ape gaping at me? Or are you going to get in? God, I know you're insane, but they didn't tell me you're a drooling idiot, too. I... I remember you. Ah, it speaks. You're Lois. Lois Lane. President and CEO of Lane Corp. And I own this city. The chopper heads for Lane Corp Tower. You've changed your hair since the last time I saw you, but I'd never forget you, Lois. And how could I forget you, considering all the time you and that brainless so-called superhero have come crashing through my office walls? Why are you helping me? Hmm. You intrigue me, baffle me, and to be frank, I'm not sure why. But I don't like mysteries, and you're one I intend to solve. Storm's coming up, Miss Lane. A hail of cream pies begins to fall from the sky. Damn those pies! Be careful, Ron. I don't want you crashing this baby on the way in. They lead him down into a subterranean bunker. She tells him to rest. He can't argue with that. I assume you know what to do? Her written instructions were most complete. It's been so long since he's slept since he's known even a moment's peace. Sleep well, Superman. Yes, I think I will. I'll see you in the morning. Lois triggers a device. After they're done. Done? What do you... <gasps> An energy field walls off Superman's cell. No! I won't be locked in a cage ever again! I... <gasps> he charges into the field, but is shocked and driven back. Why... I told you, I hate mysteries. Actually, you should be flattered. Science is frowned upon in our fair city, to say the least. And I've assembled a team of the world's most brilliant renegades in a variety of fields, just to study you. Dr. Erdl, you may begin. With pleasure. Ah! She finds his cry of anguish as they initiate the tests disturbing. But for the life of her, she can't say why. Outside of the lunar watchtower, a cow flies over the moon, carrying a dish and a spoon on its back. No, Warden, we don't know where Bizarro Number 1 is. He is somewhat eccentric, sir. No, no, I didn't mean to insult Earth's greatest hero, sir, but... Yes, sir, Warden, absolutely. Inside the watchtower, this world's JLA argue and fight amongst themselves. The fiery demoness Scorch taunts the mechanical man Ignition while Poison Ivy bemoans having to follow Bizarro's leadership. Rounding out the team are the hypnotic beauty, gorgeous Gilly, the cybernetically enhanced hunter, Bounty, and the psychic martial artist, Schism. 
Bizarro and Scorch fly off after Superman, leaving the others behind. Meanwhile, Jimmy Olsen attends an event at Weisinger University. Professor Hamilton plans to use quantum foam to make beer, but is interrupted when the heroic turtle and his archenemy, the Flab, crash through the wall. <laughs> Jimmy tries to grab a snack as they fight, but gets bitten by the turtle. Ouch! He wanders outside. My body, charged with some incredible energy, and suddenly I feel like walking really slow. Green scales begin to cover Jimmy's body as he grows to enormous size. Oh, my gosh! What's happening to me? Unbelievable, but true. The turtle's saliva, chemically combining with a smatter of honey Dijon mustard, deposits toxins in Jimmy's bloodstream that transform him from a simple-minded sidekick into the giant turtle boy. Oswald the Exorcist arrives to try and free niece Matrix. The sisters have tied her to a bed which floats in the air above her flaming wings as she repeats her mantra that she must save Superman. Oswald dons his Alfred mask and douses her with seltzer water. <laughs> Matrix bursts free from her vision, breaking the bed to pieces <laughs> and flies out through the roof. <laughs> We've got trouble, Miss Lane. Lois sees Bizarro and Scorch on her monitor screen. So I see. How the devil did they find us? No one in Metropolis knows about this complex. I may be wrong, but I think that sign may have had something to do with it. A huge lighted arrow sign floats freely in the sky, pointed at her base, reading, Superman, this way. Ah, <sighs> you know, Spike, sometimes this city gets downright weird. Come on, muscle man, up and at him. Your buddy Bizarro's on the way. You shut down the containment field? And you're letting me go? Your observational powers are simply staggering. What is with you? First you help me, then you torture me, and now you're helping me again? What can I say? Human beings are nothing if not contradictory. You don't really know why you're doing this, do you? Any more than I. I... Superman takes Lois in his arms and kisses her. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ah, get out before I change my mind again. He gets. But no matter how much distance he puts between himself and this beautiful conundrum named Lois Lane, Superman can't get the scent of her, the feel of her, out of his mind. Maybe, he muses, she's controlling my thoughts somehow. Or maybe... I've finally learned what love is. Ooh. Bizarro punches Superman out of his leap. Me not take you back to Arkham, Superman. Me give you big squishy hug and let you go free. I've been through just about enough for one night. For one lifetime. I'm not letting you or anyone else take me anywhere. Scorch sets the area ablaze. <laughs> nice speech. Just the right balance of machismo and grim determination. You know, if you were a little uglier, I just might go for you. But the fact is, my heart belongs to Mr. B. What do you say, big guy? Shall we mash this potato? No! Bizarro slugs Superman and he flies towards Scorch's flame dragon. <laughs> it chomps him in its giant mouth. Don't you just love it when I get all hot and bothered? Scorch not very funny. Scorch make Bizarro cry. Bizarro chases him into the air, punching him again. <sighs> you know, Bizarro, I've had it with you and your salacious little sweetheart. This ends now. Superman blows out the entire forest fire with his super breath, and Scorch is thrown far away. <sighs> Man, that guy can really blow. Scorch, go away! Me hate you! Me hate you too! Superman hits Bizarro with a haymaker, sending him rocketing after her. <laughs> Don't know where that burst of strength came from. Never knew I had that kind of power. But one thing's for sure. <sighs> the way I'm feeling, I'm going to crash and burn. Very. Superman falls to the ground. <laughs> No, I won't let them take me back there. I've got to keep going. I've got to. 
Ugh. A warm light envelops him. He looks up and sees Matrix floating before him, wearing his symbol and her wings of flame. Do not despair, my friend. Uh, are you... are you an angel? I am your angel, and I've come to offer my help. Together we can right this madly spinning sphere, and... <laughs> Suddenly she is crushed by a gigantic reptilian foot. Superman looks further up at the colossal turtle boy. Uh-oh. You wouldn't consider talking this over, would you? Turtle Boy picks Superman up by his cape. Yum, yum. Eat em all. I didn't think so. He drops Superman into his giant mouth as Lois watches on her monitors and swallows him. Mm -hmm. She's sickened by what she sees, shaken to the core of her soul. For the first time in memory, hot tears stream down Lois Lane's cheeks. He's just another man, she thinks. Why in the world should I care if he lives or dies? Why should... Ah! And then she hears it, the horrible sound that echoes at this same hour every single night. Somewhere, a tortured soul is screaming. Continued in our very next chapter. Our very next chapter. Now back in custody, Superman has been retrieved from inside of Turtle Boy and is being hosed down while Dr. Schism prepares to scan his mind. Who? I am Herr Dr. Schism, my dear young sir. Now please allow me to use my very special talent. To probe for your psychic weaknesses. To locate and spank your mewling inner child. Oh yes. In that way you shall be broken down and healed again. Where? Where am I? I... I should be back in Arkham, but this doesn't look like... Well, it is and it isn't, you know. My goodness. You don't seem to have any weaknesses, Mr. Supercriminal. Odd. Oh. But to answer your stumbling question, my dear misguided charge. You have proven to be a very peculiar case. Your recent behavior has had you taking a dangerous turn toward the... Ugh, rational. And so, as with all your diseased kind, society has seen fit to trundle you off to our special little facility. Here, you will receive the guidance and rehabilitation you so sorely need. Superman, welcome to the restful corridors of the S.S. Arkham. The UFO of Irrationality. A huge flying saucer floats above the city with a smaller domed city atop it. No axioms. No weakness. Ah, this has grown wearisome. I believe you are guilty of rationality, of logic, and of being dreadfully boring. Why don't I just exploit the tiny hairline fractures in your shackles? and let you get on with your futile daily escape. Schism destroys Superman's restraints. <sharp inhale> now shoo! Shoo! Uh, I don't think so, Herr Doctor. You're right. Escape is futile. I wind up recaptured every time. It's all a waste of energy. So why bother? My, my, you are a sad case. Your thought process is twisting perilously close to one of order, Productivity and <gasps> scientific reasoning. Warren Grundy was indeed wise to send you to the care and feeding of our Science Miscreant Reconstruction Center. Superman is carried away by small attendants. I'm no criminal, Schism. Of course, of course. But perhaps once you've had a chance to cool off in a vault full of your fellow two plus two offenders, you'll become more amenable to acceptable societal behavior. Ah, another lost soul come to sweet old granny for redemption. Another confused creature who insists that two plus two must always equal four. How perverse. How tedious. How boring. Get in there with your fellow perverts, your fellow scientists, and skeptical scum. And don't come out until you're ready to fly upside down and backward, you depraved loser. Superman is thrown into the holding pen. Uh, what have I done to deserve this? 
Why does my life seem to consist of one nightmare after another? Everything, every one, tells me I'm a criminal and a killer at that. But, but something deep in my gut tells me that's not who I am. And these poor folks, it seems like they should be familiar to me. Somewhere on the furthest edge of my mind. The Earth was created in seven days. No, by Belikovsky in six, and one for rest. I just can't quite capture the memory. And if it still hurts, I suggest aromatherapy. Have you tried rebirthing? He passes Doc Magnus of the Metal Men, the Atom, and Swamp Thing. Nothing feels right. Nothing makes sense. Nothing fits. But no one else seems to notice. So maybe I am cra- Oops. Superman trips over a man on the ground, reciting equations. P equals W over T. P equals F times T over T. S sorry. P equals F times T over T. P equals F times T over T. What? What was that last? N nothing. Nothing. Ignore me. I'm a bad, sad citizen. Can't stop the wicked thoughts. M must stop the wicked thought. E times K equals 1 over 2. E K equals 1 over 2. And V squared. They both repeat the same equation in unison. E times K, K equals, equals 1 over 2 times MV squared. squared. I, I knew what you were going to say. It makes sense. It's some kind of code. It has something to do with energy. No, it's not a code. It's a formula. A scientific formula dredged from my twisted imaginings. It's sick. It's not real. Granny told me so. You couldn't possibly know what festers inside my head. Head, F equals G times M to the first, M to the second. M to the first, M to the second, over R to the second. F equals G, that has something to do with gravity. Don't you get it? If I know what you know, then they're lying to you. It isn't all in your head. Separately, we both know the same forbidden facts. There's, there's some sort of truth in your formulae. It means there is something wrong in this world. There is more to everything than just this same damn empty madness every lousy day. You, I'm, we are making the same observations, aren't we? Empirical evidence. Mutually exclusive, matching data. But Jove, you're, you're right. This is science. This is heresy. I know you, don't I? Irons is the name. Hank Aaron Irons, I think. And you're Superman, aren't you? The criminal mastermind. Your glasses, I seem to recall. Glasses. I used to wear glasses. I... P equals W over T. E K equals 1 over 2 times M V squared. There is more to life than, than just nonsense, isn't there? Things are not right in this world, are they? No, I don't think they are. I think your wicked thoughts are the truth. I think the fact that we both knew those truths proves we're on the right track. Hey, what do you say? Let's blow this joint. Superman crashes through the wall of the UFO, leaping down to the ground with irons. <laughs> I seem to remember a suit of armor. Say, can you fly? I don't think so. But I am very good at leaping. You know, the fact that we both independently arrived at similar socially unacceptable views of reality actually proves nothing. It only indicates probable and good cause for further investigation. Did, did I say that? You're good at leaping? Huh. They find his steel armor set up as a statue. Yes. Yes, it does look. So you think I actually wore this? I... I guess so. Can you get it working again? I seem to recall that it could be helpful. I can try. Well, try to work quickly. Bitter experience tells me it won't be long before Bizarro rears his ugly head. And Bizarro number one is a friend of mine, mister. Uh-oh. Bounty finds them atop his robotic horse, his guns drawn. So I suggest you smile when you say that. Bounty's the name, and manhunting's my game. I'm the best there is. No brag. Just fact. Now I expect you'll stay out of my way, Superman, unless you want a psionic projectile introduced into your tailpipe. 
because I mean to return Mr. Irons to his cabin in the sky. Stun slugs! Bounty fires and the bullets swerve around Superman and head for Irons. But he turns and catches them. Ouch! That hurt! Hmm. Mister, you insist on stepping in front of my prey? You must prepare for a little pain. Bounty fires again, and these bullets dive under the ground. Damage it! <laughs> drilling through and knocking Superman down. <laughs> Do we understand each other now, mister? Oh yeah, we understand each other, mister. Superman blasts Bounty with heat vision, knocking him off his horse. <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? Those beams shot right out of my eyeballs, and now I feel so weak. Hank Aaron Irons, are you getting close to ready to go? Steel has almost fully donned his steel armor. Um, uh, getting there. That's good, because I think we're running out of time. <coughs> Pizarro flies down and stomps on Superman. Goodbye. Me happy to come so early. Me sorry that this going to hurt me more than it hurt Superman. You a very good boy today. You must take this reward. Pizarro picks him up, knocking on his head. <coughs> <coughs> Springing Hank Aaron Irons, that very, very lovely development. Bizarro punches Superman and he sees stars. <laughs> now we must reward him too, before leaving you both out of Arkham. He drags Superman towards Steel. So weak, but have to do something. Bizarro, wait, don't you see? This field trip has been very good therapy for the dangerously rational Mr. Irons. Look! He's desecrating a public statue. Hmm, me so very sure about this. But see the progress he's made. No reasonable man would disfigure such a beautiful work of art. Me no get point. Maybe field trip am hurting Hank Aaron Irons get worse. By way, why am Irons in armor? Look closely, Bizarro number one, and you'll see. You'll see. Steel swings his hammer in a large arc, slamming it into Bizarro. Hello. Pizarro smashes through several buildings as he flies across the city. Glad you picked up on my plan. We make a good team. Did I do that? Yeah, I think you hit a home run, Hank. What's a home run? I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's a good thing. For the first time in as long as I can remember, I feel like maybe we have the advantage. Bizarro is not taking me back to Arkham this time. Things are definitely starting to change. The building continued to knock each other over like dominoes. <coughs> the small man in the derby hat paces nervously. Oh, he's been a bad, bad boy, that one has. Oh, he's been careless. Stupid. Stupid. Blew it big time, eh? Paul Five Dimensions gone haywire. He's been a bad, bad... The train is about to run him down. Eep! Here we go again. But a building falls on top of it. <laughs> what? That, that train had my name on it. My, my day should be over. What's going on here? Wait a minute. I can almost remember. It's all starting to come back. This must mean the pattern's been broken. And there's only one living being I can imagine who could alter the pattern. The small man glows with power. He pops into existence before Superman and Steel. Superman! And Steel? You did it, you big hunk of burning log! Somehow you managed to disrupt the pattern! Hmm? Huh? Who are you? No time! No time to jog that second-rate memory of yours, Big Blue. The disruption won't last long. Listen, the answers you seek, the facts you need to regain control, to counter him, and set everything right... Big Blue? ...can be found there, in JLA headquarters, on the moon! You gotta get there before this goes on much longer. Before... A shadow appears above the small man. Mm. Oh no. And he is crushed by a 10,000 ton weight. <laughs> Yikes! That... That was horrible. E equals MC squared. Should have done something. I should have done something. Well, can you do something now? Because we've got incoming. The UFO above drops more weights, and Superman and Steel run. <laughs> P equals Y over T. P equals F times D over T. Why did I ever leave Arkham? Why did I ever trust you? This is insane! E times K equals 1 over 2 times MV squared. 
The little guy, he said the answers were on the moon. How do we get to the moon? A purple jet soars by them. Oh. <laughs> Superman, I don't think I have ever laid eyes on a more pathetic excuse for a super criminal. Is it any wonder I feel so sorry for you? And this rust bucket would be your sidekick? It picks them up with robotic arms and flies off. Arr, arr. Lois Lane? For pity's sake, there are innocent bystanders being pummeled down there. Can't you do something? I don't know. I don't believe in innocent bystanders. But I wouldn't want to see my real estate damaged any further. So... Lois fires her ship's guns, destroying the rest of the falling weights. Thank you, Lois Lane. I knew you'd come through for me. Sooner or later, I knew you'd feel it too. There is more to life than the madness we see before us. And there is something between us. Hmm. The only thing that will ever be between us is a sizable chunk of kryptonite. If you ever try kissing me again, you alien freak. But I do agree. There is something more out there for Lois Lane. And for better or worse, I think you're part of it. Now you and Oxidation Man get your butts into gear and cause some real damage. The robotic arms throw them at the UFO. Oh. Land some blows against the Empire. And they crash inside. <laughs> oh yes, Superman. We have quite a future together, you and I. I wouldn't be who I am today if I didn't have a discerning eye for those with a touch of genius. A gift of vision. And all my instincts are telling me that you two are starting a revolution. The rest of us can't even imagine. Inside the flying ship, a pitched battle takes place as Superman and Steel commandeer a craft in order to journey to the moon. If this world is going to shift, Lois Lane is going to make sure she winds up on top. <laughs> oh hell, every night, on every frequency, someone is going through the torments of the damned. It's, it's disturbing. <sighs> I tell you, Superman, this world can't change fast enough to satisfy me. A scream continues to echo across the city. As Lois returns home. What shocks await next? In Superboy's own comic, the Guardian Jim Harper served as his mentor as they both came from Project Cadmus. But here, the Guardian is Superboy's supervisor at Super Burger Boy. A fusion of Big Boy in the real world and Big Belly Burger, its Metropolis equivalent, and of Superboy himself. It is a humiliating job, and he feels trapped. Superman, Arkham, Part 4, Superman Namripus. Suddenly, Bizarro and the Justice League crash into the building while fighting their enemies. <laughs> Cesar Romero's ghost! The lunatics have escaped Arkham! How could this have happened? What is the world coming to? It's coming to an end. Everything's changed. Everything. At that moment, up on the moon. Steel and Superman orbit the moon in one of the buildings from the UFO serving as a rocket ship. Ah. <sighs> Do you realize that this is the first morning since I became Superman that I've been able to watch the sunrise without Arkham's bars in my way? I've dreamed of this since... since I started dreaming, I think. Freedom. Freedom to... to do... I don't know what. I never planned that far ahead. I never believed the sign over Arkham's gates. Criminally insane. Not me. Not ever. But the truth of it is, if all our talk of logic and reality and conspiracy was just that... Talk. We wouldn't know it, would we? Cause madmen don't know that they're mad. Crazy is as crazy does. We're not crazy, Superman. The world is. Though the irony isn't lost on me that such a statement is paranoid, narcissistic, and potentially delusional. There go two more. The riot caused by your breakout of Arkham is certainly keeping the JLA busy. Perfect. That only leaves two life forms registered in the Watchtower. Working together, we should be able to handle them and get to some answers. Some truth. The rocket building nears the JLA watchtower. 
Huh. Answers. We're a supervillain and a political dissident chasing a vision of a little elf thing to a tower on the moon in order to prove that we're not mad. Paragons of reality, us. Somebody ought to make a postage stamp. Don't think this has been easy for me to swallow. I'm not exactly employing the scientific method here. But don't you want to know the truth? One way or another? What if the truth is, we're wrong? Tell you what, we get to the moon and we still can't prove 2 plus 2 equals 4. I'll tie a pretty bow on both of our straitjackets. Superman bends a wire into the shape of square-rimmed glasses and puts them on. But everyone knows 2 plus 2 equals fish. Everyone but us. Please, God, don't let me be crazy. Please. Deep in his power charging facility, Ignition stirs. <sighs> I know the truth. As static electricity on my neck, as clench on my viscera, as light piercing my eyes, I know the truth. I know he comes. Trial and conundrums have delayed our meat, softened his resolve. But we will collide, like time and stone and death, and it will be glorious. He bursts from the surface of the water, crackling with energy. <laughs> the time has come to show the God-man that he is extinct in this world, or any other. I know the truth. Today, everything changes. Meanwhile, in luxurious Lane Corp Tower, more. Lois calls for more wine from her buff and blindfolded male servants as she picks out a wig and a dress. There is more than this. That's what the alien said. More. There is more than this in the world. As if he knows. As if he is privy to knowledge unseen. What can he possibly offer me? That alien. That criminal. That murderer, why does he look at me, through me, as if we've stared at one another for a thousand years? Why do I listen to those eyes when there is nothing between us? Because I am brilliant and I always recognize opportunity when I see it. Superman has uncovered the power to disrupt the status quo. Unequipped with the intelligence to utilize it, he has sought me out. Far be it from me to disappoint him. Empress of all that is, and more. That has a nice ring to it. Thank you, Superman, for being a killer with such honest eyes. Brainiac 13, summon by transport. Ready it for off-planet travel. The Watchtower. Steel holds the device emitting waves of energy. I can't believe that's working. That's because a cloaking device doesn't work on faith. This one runs on 2D batteries. Stay alert. Two remaining JLAers, and we should be able to reach the tower with no interference. On it. I only hear one heartbeat, but it's far away. Since when can you hear heartbeats through titanium-laced walls? Since I stopped trying to. Oh. Good God! Look at that! Superman finds a wide array of image windows hanging in the air. The monitor womb. I've seen the specs. Thrilling. If you want a guided tour, we can wait for whoever's supposed to be in that chair to come back. No. Look at the people. Look at what's happening to them. All over the world. People are suffering. Cities crumble and burn while people are chased by swarms of flying fish and clowns with machine guns. Chaos reigns rampant and nowhere is safe. The suffering. Excuse me, aren't you Superman? Murderer of Lex Luthor? Razor of cities? Scion of rage and malevolence? It's a little late to develop a bleeding heart, isn't it? Ah, uh, somebody should do something for those people. Now you do sound crazy. Let's move them. Why, I do declare, two hunks of burning love, one raw and one in a can. The hideously ugly, gorgeous Gilly finds them. Steel hides his eyes, but she enraptures Superman with her hypnotic power so that he finds her irresistible. The small man in purple appears, breaking her spell. Hello, hormone boy! 
Time to switch off the scrambled channel and return to the scheduled program. Get to the tower. Lip, I am Elvis. What are you? What? Pay him no mind, sweet lips. I'll take care of the swamp rat. Gilly grabs the it. Ah! By the fifth dimension, woman, haven't you ever heard of dental floss? Mister, you're dead. The tower? Princess G Gilly, I... Hand off the dwarf, sea hag. Steel kicks Gilly away, but his foot becomes stuck in the imp. Perp! I need a new gig. Bet Casper doesn't get as long as kicked out. That was nasty. I know, but I figure once we reach the tower, whatever this little guy is, he'll be all right. I meant Gilly. Did you see that tongue? I'll take care of her. Get to the tower so we can put an end to this. Back at the Super Burger Boy restaurant, the fight is over and the JLA leaves. Superboy is elated to see that the entire building has been destroyed, and he is finally free to change his life. I'll see you tomorrow. Dude, denial ain't just a river. In case you didn't get it, there is no tomorrow for... us? Turning around, he sees that the building has returned, good as new. Sorry, scratch that, chum. We've got a lunch crowd to defend from man-sized appetites. Strap on your hair net and let's rock. I... no... I was free. Things were right. This, this is the rip. He clenches a fist and it begins to glow. Mm, this, this bite. <laughs> Superboy punches the ground and it shatters. Whoa, this rocks. Superman dashes away from a pile of scrap that used to be security robots. Thanks, boys. I'll see myself out. Top of the world, Ma. Top of the moon, at least. Now, where are you? Whatever's up here, no way the JLA left it guarded by robots. We didn't. Suddenly, he is punched out of the air and slammed into a wall. <laughs> he is hit again with great force, dislocating his leg. <laughs> it has been a strange trip. Hasn't it, stranger? One of pain, fury, nonsense. Especially pain. But worry not. Energy frosts from the man-shaped mountain of black machinery towering over him. Your journey is at an end. Answers or oblivion will be yours. Choose. Come, Godman, make war with ignition. Superman relocates his leg. Uh, you know what's happening, don't you? To me? To everything? Superman grapples with ignition. I know many things. An example. He ignites his hand, burning Superman's palm. I know what makes you burn on the inside, as well as the outside. Then you also know... Uh, Superman kicks Ignition off into a wall. <laughs> I have a high threshold for pain, and no tolerance for riddles. Tell me what you know. Ignition rotates one of his huge shoulder cannons into firing position. <laughs> There are more worlds than this, Kryptonian, and you will not survive long enough to see any of them. So has my sovereign decreed. And hits Superman with a massive blast of energy. <sighs> who, who, who is doing this to me? Who is your sovereign? Ask not this question, man-god. Instead, ask that which your heart would truly know. Ignition picks up his tattered body by the hair. If this is the end of me, if I am to die in a world not of my making, in skin not of my birth, what will become of Lois? Lois? <laughs> I promise you, I will take gentle tender care of her needs. You stay away from her! Stay away! Superman unloads on ignition with super strength, punching him through the watchtower's wall and out onto the lunar surface. 
That son of a... Try to play mind games with me? You wanna play games with me, Ignition? I'll kill you! I'll paint the moon red with your blood! I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck! I'll... I'll... I... No. I won't. I won't, because that's what Superman, the most feared criminal on Earth, would do. I won't, because I want the truth. I want my life back! He tears off a metal panel and blocks a sucking hole in the wall. <laughs> the real Mr. Mitch's Pitlick finally appears in his most usual form. <laughs> Pardon my French, Soupy, but it's about frickin' time! You! I know you! For that brilliant bit of dialogue I've been waiting in this tower like a putz? I should have been sending astral projections to someone with a little pizzazz to their patter. Huh. <sighs> but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Not even in this knockoff universe. Voila, Super Doop. You got me. Your greatest, envious, best dressed enemy ever. Mr. Mix's Pitlick. Hoo ah! Mixy? Mix. Plep. Whatever your name is. Uh, how do I know you? How do you- Enough with the amnesia routine. Jeez, didn't Ignition slap any sense into you? Come over here. After all the magic wasted so far, why be chintzy now? Mixie zaps Superman's head with a bolt of magical energy. <laughs> Remember. Images of his friends, family, and old life as Superman flood Clark's mind. I- Oh, I remember. All of it. I'm not insane. I'm not insane! That's debatable. Didn't you turn down a thousand years of tantalaki with Wonder Woman? Hardly a sane move. He grabs Mixie by the throat. Ah! I'm not insane, and I remember everything. Especially you, Mixie. Imp from the fifth dimension, insane prankster, the genie with a gift for making me crazy. Best part, I remember what it takes to break your spells and put things right. One word. One word you're going to say, right? <coughs> Superman releases him. <laughs> Kill Tipsy Skim! <laughs> Kill Tipsy Skim! That's what you want to hear, isn't it? My name backwards? The key to your sanity? Kill Tipsy Skim! You said it. I didn't even have to trick you. You said the word, and nothing happened. That's right, Blue Boy. Nothing happened. That's why I've been leading you here, calling for help. Because the Mixister ain't in charge of his own mojo anymore. I'll give you one guess who's pulling the strings. Outside the window, Superman can see the Earth has become a cube instead of a globe, and every side hosts a single continent in the shape of the Joker's face. Dear God, it can't be. Tell that to the guy who reshaped the universe in his image. Tell Emperor Joker. Ladies and gentlemen, hobos and trumps, cross-eyed mosquitoes and bow-legged ants, I come before you to stand behind you to tell you a story I know nothing about. Bunny rabbit police unload their guns in the street while it's hailing taxis over Gotham, and a woman puts gas in her horse as mushroom cloud cupcakes explode in people's hands, all at the Joker's orchestration. One bright morning, in the middle of the night, two dead boys got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their swords, and shot each other. If you do not believe this lie, it's true. Ask the blind lady on the corner. She saw it too. Batgirl tends to a mannequin while Azrael holds a sign reading, The End is My Rear. And Gordon lives in shock at the chaotic nature of this world, where the buildings twist in swerving shapes, and where crazily laid roller coaster tracks and curved beams of light swoop around them. It's a Joker world, baby. We just live in it. Emperor Joker sits in a golden throne wearing an ornate robe and crown, surrounded by his court, with Harley at his side and Lex Luthor serving as his jester. Random Batman merchandise such as dolls and drinking cups lie scattered around the room. You are expecting, in the beginning, the Joker created the heaven and the earth. Ha! Ah, it's been done. Who are you talking to, Mr. J? That's Emperor Mr. J, my babe-in-waiting. Can't hear you, Lexi. 
Great green grog of greasy, grimy gober guts, mutilated monkey meat, all the things we love to eat. <laughs> Remember, Lexi, no funny, no money. Ah, it's good to be the Emperor. I'm the sun in the morning and the moon at night. The Joker? The moon. Headquarters for my JLA, the Joker League of Anarchy. Hmm. Technically, that would be the TJLOA. Well, technically, I could just reinvent the alphabet. Hmm. Or not. That. That can't be Earth. My memories may be a little foggy, Mixes Pidlick, but I know the Joker doesn't have the power to alter reality. In fact, he doesn't have any powers at all. Boy, do you both have a lot to learn about insanity. Right now, though, we gotta get off this dust ball and back to Earth. You think you can manage that, Tin Guy? I can try. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this. There is no try. Blah, blah, blah. Superman, Steel, and Mixie return to their ship. One of the perks of being the Big E is I get my own royal court. Caught myself a new deck. Scorch, she's a hottie. Bounty, my goon for hire. Gorgeous Gilly, take a gander. Yeah. Schism, master of martial arts mayhem. Added some variations on an old theme. Poisonous Ivy, mean green fighting machine. Enigma, irrational man of mystery. Gravedigger lad, the shoveling sidekick. And Bizarro, the world's mightiest. Eh. Whatever. I don't like this. It feels like we're running away. Guess what, genius? We are. So shut up and let me do the thinking for a while. Ignition blasts the rocket. <laughs> we're not going to be able to handle another hit like that. Mixes Pidlick? Er Why should I trust you? All you've ever done is try to make my life miserable. I restore your memories, repair your pajamas and cape, and this is the thanks I get. Hey, Steel, let's make like a tree and leave. The rocket building speeds away from the watchtower. The tide is high in the sea of blood, man-god. Escape is not for you this day. And then there's ignition. Ooh, sleek black power, baby. I could drive that Cadillac all night long. The eh, funny part is, I don't remember creating him. Must have used a few too many brain cells. You will know no rest until I have branded you with your own S. Ignition fires at it again. <laughs> oh well. Every deck has to have a wild card. Each of us had a role to play in this cosmic odyssey. For as reality comes around the bend. Now! Punch it! Warp fact or something! Go! Move! Ignition. I could go out there and put him down. No, a few more seconds and we'll be out of his range. Ignition hits the rocket with energy one final time, sending it careening out of control towards the Earth. <laughs> you will meet me there. Meanwhile, back in Miflopolis, the cowbell of tomorrow, where pies fall mainly from the skies, where my railway mows down anything in its path. And where one of my thousands of Acme time bombs sits on the Daily Planet. There's a special little someone whose life I'm just making hell. Niece Matrix wanders the streets in a delirium. Leave me be, spirits, haunt me no more. The hills are alive with the sound of... No, have to make it back to Abbey Normal. Have to find... A swarm of flying jokerfish attack her. Help! Suddenly they are all knocked out of the air by Superboy. <laughs> Ta-da! Speechless, right? Well, I know what you're thinking. How did a swell babe like you happen to run into a hunk like me? What can I say? This is your lucky night. I... She touches the S on his Super Burger Boy shirt. Yeah, go ahead and touch. Chicks love a guy in uniform. Super... That's me, doll. Super delicious. Her flame wings flare outward. No! Now! You must help me find Superman. He's our only hope. Superman? The guy's a murderer. What do you want with him? 
Wait a sec. Maybe that's not such a bad idea after all. <sighs> I know I'm going to regret this, but could you go over that again? Maybe a little slower? When Superman not escape, other villains not escape, and now Arkham no have good villains outside. If I may, your jokership, I speak bizarro. There is the slightest chance that this Superman might rally a few of these escapees. So, you may wish to consider dealing with them at their weakest, i.e. now. I see. And you all just thought of this yourselves. You inspire us to greatness, Joker. And you get an A in brown-nosing, Skiz. How's about it, sugar lamb? I could wash that red right out of your hair. Quit fooling around, Gilly. This stuff's important. Hall? Huh? Maybe torturing and humiliating soups in the gang isn't enough. Well, you already killed a bunch of them, Puddin'. I guess you could kill a whole bunch more. Harley holds a tiny two-face to paint her nails. If you think I'm small, you should see my silver dollar. That's it! I could give him a whole amalgam of new headaches. Hit him right in the zero hour. Make a real crisis for those infantile jerks. Joker boots Harley off his platform. <laughs> Gee, is that what I said? Joker, enough! There is a fine line between lunacy and idiocy, and now you've crossed it. Who? Oh, it's you, Lexi. I'd be careful about how you speak to your emperor. The only reason you're alive is that Superman thinks you're dead. However that works. Lex Luthor, the gesture to my royal court, the fool to my king, leering. The... eh, sorry, kids. They can't all be as good as bean jokes. If you want to kill me, then do it and be done with it. Anything is better than sitting here watching you with the power to control the universe. And all you can think of is how to treat some costumed heroes like toy dolls. Hmm. Shows what you know. They're not dolls. They're action figures. Really, Enigma? You don't say. You don't say! What did he say? Emperor Joker snaps his fingers and a steel plate appears over Lex's mouth. <coughs> he didn't say. But you have given me something to think about, Lexi. And all that thinking makes me hungry. The population of China is replaced by mountains of human skulls in an instant. Joker holds one of them in a pair of chopsticks. Ah, yum yum dim sum. Chinese food made from real Chinese. All of them. I guess someone should have yelled, Peking, duck! <clears throat> ah. Okay, Joker, you've just wiped out the People's Republic of China. What are you going to do next? And the first one of you who even thinks I'm going to Happy Land gets to be dessert. Superman wakes up to a familiar voice. Smallville. Lois? Come on, it's time to wake up. A dream? Then it was all a dream. I'm afraid not. I was on my way to the moon when I saw Ignition blow you out of the sky. He finds himself surrounded by fire near Lois's plane. I had my ship pluck you, the steel man, and the little guy out of the debris. But you called me Smallville. You must remember who we are and what we've meant to each other. Um, no. We're in Smallville. As in Kansas. Lane Corp owns this land. Most of the state, actually. You seem disappointed. Look, if it makes you feel any better, I am starting to believe that something is wrong. As am I. Something is wrong? That's got to be the understatement of the millennium. Superman recognizes the Kent farm, despite the large Acme bomb atop the grain silo. Mixus Pitlick, I knew this place. I knew the people who lived here. They were good people. Where are they? What happened to the Earth I knew? Hey, you want to take it easy on the eardrums? I already told you, I had nothing to do with this. It was all the Joker's doing. The Joker? That's not good enough. I want the truth. All of it. 
but we've got to... Oh, all right. But it's kind of embarrassing. A series of technologically advancing television screens display the events of Mixie's story while a test pattern of Emperor Joker fills the background. Stop me if you've heard this one before. I am an imp from the fifth dimension. I used to drop in every 90 days or so to drive you mad. He turned Superman into Alfred E. Newman. Ah, those were the good old days. We'd have some laughs at your expense. Play some games like you tricking me to say my name backwards. Kill Tips's gim is written across the sky. And I get sent home. Over and over and over again. Well, I don't know about you, but there are just so many times you can lead a horse to water and teach an old dog new tricks. In other words, I got bored. Suddenly, I had this brilliant idea. Mixie storms into Arkham. Well, at least it sounded good on paper. I went off to see the Joker in his home away from home at Arkham Asylum. The fact that they had moved him to the slab in New York City should have tipped me off that this was not going to go well. But I'm a never-say-die kind of guy, and I pressed on. Now, the Joker had made his career out of making Batman baddie, so I figured, just for laughs, what if I gave him my powers and set him loose on your world? He visits the Joker in his cell. You know, see how somebody else would do at my job. Oh, look, I'm not an idiot. I planned on giving him only a little of my power. Like, one percent. That's what I learned, that just because the Joker is insane, doesn't mean he isn't smart. He tricked me into revealing my secret name, which every imp has. And in doing so, he took 99.9% .9 of my power. Joker grins as Mixie claps his hands over his mouth. <laughs> okay, so maybe I am an idiot. About 69 seconds later, he remade your world in his image. Stuffed me in a closet on the moon. The Joker assumes control of reality. And we all lived unhappily ever after without commercial interruptions. I have to admit, even for you, this is hard to believe. You've never been all-powerful. How could the Joker be? Morons! I've got morons on my team! I actually grasp the concept that if you obliterate reality, then there's nobody left to play with. The Joker, however, doesn't care. He's a homicidal maniac. I can promise you this. The longer the Joker has my power, the more comfortable he becomes with it. Until, sooner than you think, he'll be able to dominate all time and space. Mixie shows Superman the planet cracked in half in the Joker's hand. <laughs> but, if what you want to do is sit around Bugaville, Kansas, watching the corn grow and doubting me... We get your point, Mixus Pidlick. Okay, I'll bite. How do we take on the Almighty? We're going to need help. Aquaman, Wonder Woman... Those villains? They were once the world's greatest heroes, Lois. And they can be that again. Superboy and Matrix fly past clouds shaped like Gotham villains the Mad Hatter, Killer Croc, Two-Face, Maxi Zeus, Ra's al Ghul, and the Penguin. Heroes! That was our lot in life! I'm sure of it! Just as I can sense within you, Superboy, that you are a good and noble spirit. Yeah, well, I do like you calling me Superboy. It has kind of a ring to it. Maybe, like you said, if we find Superman... He can clear all this up. Or we take him down and bring him to Bizarro, and I get myself a free ticket into the JLA. <sighs> Mixie has brought Superman and the others to the Hall of Jerkos, and Lois has put on a large robotic war suit. I don't understand. If they all just broke out of Arkham, why would they come here, in the middle of Metropolis? Bizarro, where anybody could find them. I'm sorry, I must have missed the chapter where irrational behavior was explained rationally. Trust me, they're inside. The whole gang you used to know is your JLA. The Justice League of America. Superman, I don't like this. Even wearing Lane Corp battle armor, these people the imp has led us to, they're some of the worst criminals on Earth. That's what you once thought about me, Lois. 
These people were my friends. Just in case, what are we going up against inside, Mixie? Don't you ever read the funnies in the Daily Planet? Their origins are told every day. Aquaman by Arthur Curry Born the son of a fish and human woman, he was more man than fish. Unable to live beneath the seas, in fact, unable to even go into the water, Aquaman became the scourge of the seven seas. Now, with the young Aqualung lad at his side, the menace called Fish Face sees to it that if he can't go into the water, no one will. Wonder Woman by Diana Prince Born on Paradise Island, Wonder Woman was raised to fear all men. Now, using her extraordinary power to make herself feel guilty about being both a woman and a working criminal, the Housemaid of Might continues her never-ending quest to commit crimes, star in a series of Amazon Women Behind Bars movies, and bake cakes. Boom. The Flash by Barry Allen Born unable to say no to sweets, Wally West was struck by lightning while cheating a vending machine out of a box of milk duds. <laughs> Now imbued with unmatched speed, the Flash races the globe, snatching faster and faster fast foods. <laughs> Winded and wheezing, he has earned the nickname The Flab, the fastest fat man alive. Martian Manhunter by John Jones The last survivor of a once proud Martian race, the Martian Manhunter hides among us. Full grown at three feet tall, he uses shape-shifting powers to overcome his Napoleonic complex. Armed with plenty of Uranium-235, he is determined to blow up the Earth in hopes of having a better view of other planets. Plastic Man by Eel O'Brien Called Plastic Man because credit card fraud was his M.O., he was caught one day in the very device that he used for crime. Now able to turn himself into any form of credit card or ATM card, the pliable villain can appear anywhere the unsuspecting might be. Plastic Man is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, ruining your good credit. Green Lantern by Hal Jordan <sighs> Then a strange alien gave Kyle Rayner the magical yellow paper lantern. He had no idea some people would call him Yellow Paper Lantern. Now he has dedicated his life to wreaking havoc on the world with his shadow puppets. Um, that's them? That's them. Maybe it's me, but... I think what the lady wants to know is, have you got a plan B? No, they deserve better. If they could be made to see the truth, as I have, we can rekindle what has been lost. They are legends, no matter what the Joker has done to them. I'm going to ask them. Tell them to help. Wait, what about Batman? You haven't told me what happened to Batman. Eh, we should get going. Every second we waste, the Joker grows more and more powerful. Emperor Joker sits in a tent on a rocky outcrop above cheering crowds. Joker! 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 Ah, Kurak. Or as the old expression goes, when things get whack, Head for Karak. So, what do you say, boys? I suppose you're wondering why I called you all here today. <laughs> this being one of the few times three of a kind actually makes a full house. The Joker deals cards to the corpses of the three Robins, Tim Drake, Dick Grayson, and Jason Todd. I always had the sense that the real brains behind What's-His-Name and Robin were you boys. So, how about it? When life's this good, how do I make it worse for everybody else? He holds Jason's skull to his ear. You got something to say, Robin number two? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Ooh, I like that. Ha! No wonder you were the naughty Robin. Well, gang, seems I've got a lot of work ahead of me now. Oh, and Nightwing? I liked you so much better in those little green shorts. Inside the hall, the ex-leaguers dogpile Superman. <laughs> I didn't come here to fight. Then you came to the wrong address. Let me at him. Let me at him. I'll wrap him up in celibate. You ran out on us at Arkham, and you just waltzed in here, tracking in mud. 
Do you have any idea how much time I spent waxing these floors? Yes, I left Arkham, but to learn the truth. Hold him down. I smell donuts in his pockets. Oh, goody. Isn't this wonderful? You men are all alike. If you are stuck at the office, the least you could do is call. Hey, did somebody drop a ham sandwich over there? Superman bursts free, scattering them. Listen to me! <laughs> we made it this far without you. You probably want to share the loot. If you would just open your eyes, you'd see how ridiculous you sound. Steel flies at Yellow Lantern. Don't you see? It's already too late. I served dinner hours ago, and now it's gone cold. Superman dodges Wonder Woman's rolling pin. <sighs> Lois hits the margin with a flamethrower. Oh dear, fire! Ah, I told you this was a waste of time, Superman. My Neptune's whiskers! Water! Aquaman, Plastic Man, and Martian Manhunter attack the war suit. I know who you are, Miss Lane. Lane Corp does more to protect the environment than anyone else. You keep the oceans clean so people want to swim in it. He slices! He dices! Have your credit card ready for this incredible offer! Excuse me, you are blocking my view! The suit opens and Lois's wig falls off. Superman! Lois! She angrily puts it back on. Ah, I've had enough of this. Just hold it, everybody! If you'll just hear me out, I promise we'll leave. Everyone stops. Well, you've got their attention. This had better be good. Quiet, Mrs. Pidlick. I know it's hard to think right now, and what I'm saying sounds inconceivable, but you were not always like this. You are heroes, not villains. You've acted selflessly countless times to save the Earth, and this world needs you again. Now, more than... <laughs> Superboy and Matrix crash in through the ceiling. Ding, ding, ding. Looks like we've hit the jackpot. Superboy? This isn't what I wanted. You wanted me to find Superman, and I did. Now I'm going to clean his clock. Lane Corp built this building. Those kids fractured the main support beam. We've got about three seconds before we're buried alive. Superboy, how could you have been so thoughtless? But I didn't mean to... Oh dear, this is most inconvenient. Steel, Lois, get as many of these people to safety as you can. Well... What's he doing? What he does best. Superman leaps forward and grabs the support beam, holding the collapsing building in place. <laughs> he... he's going to save us all? Wow. Space, my final front yard. If you are expecting me to be grateful for a celestial audience with this quintessence, then you do not know Darkseid. Needless to say, we now have mutual interests in the safety of the cosmos. An insignificant speck on the planet Earth has stumbled onto something which is, by right, mine. I refer to, of course, the anti-life equation. Darkseid shows Emperor Joker to the quintessence. Ganthet, Shazam, Hi, Father. Zeus, Phantom Stranger. You all know what will happen should this Joker realize its true potential. So, acting on behalf of the combined universes, I want your word that you will not interfere in my task. Well, what say you all? Waza! 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 No, where's the sun? Ah. Uh. I am too late. Emperor Joker appears before them. Boo! The bad news is you are about a day late and a dollar short to pick up your very own anti-life equation. But the good news is I'm looking for a lawn jockey for out in front of my ha-ha sienda. And with a new coat of paint, you look sort of spiffy in the role. Either that or as a hood ornament. I can't decide. Well... What say you? I am watching your game. Dragging us suds. True, true.
as Superman addresses the true Justice League, his costume returns to its normal red and blue colors. I can't make this decision for you. I can only ask for you to try to believe in yourselves again, to turn away from the darkness that the Joker has blinded you with, and let the light that shines within you, within us all, burst free. What if you are all a bunch of villains, and the Joker is the one true thing that makes it all work? What if you're wrong, Superman? What if I'm right, and we've done nothing to stop the tyranny and suffering? It wasn't that long ago, Superboy, that you, Steel, and Supergirl fought against all odds to save my life. I... As I lay dying from kryptonite poisoning, you all went inside my body. I remember that. There was no guarantee that you would come back. Yes, we did it out of our respect and loyalty for each other. We have been granted a gift, powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. The measure of a hero is not in speed or strength. It is in his or her ability to choose how to utilize their gift. To paraphrase a great man, ask not what your world can do for you. Ask what you can do for your world. Inspired by his example, Superboy, Supergirl, and Steel have all returned to normal as well. The League of Jerkos is given pause by the sight. Look at those costumes. Yes, there is something very familiar about all of this. But how can we be sure that if we join you, Superman, we won't wake up tomorrow morning in Arkham? Feared and hated by the very people you want us to protect. I can't be 100% sure. Then we're sorry, but... Diana, wait. Promise me you'll at least think it over. I know that if you came back to us, the others... No promises, Kal-El. That's all I can say. But you did call me Kal-El. There may be some hope left, after all. Watching Superman in a crystal ball, Emperor Joker begins to laugh. <laughs> what a maroon! What a ninkow poop! What a fool you truly are! You've given them the one thing they need to topple your empire. Hope. This is the beginning of the end. Brother, 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 brother. <sighs> What's the matter with you, Lex? Don't you get the joke? Joker pulls a gun from his robe and fires. This isn't the beginning of the end. This is the end of the beginning. Lex Luthor, the jester, lies dead on the floor in a pool of blood. You know you have to keep reading. The story continues. Meanwhile, Superman floats in the water outside of Joker's city. We've made it this far. The Joker will be expecting us to come in from the air, so we're going in this way. Is everybody's transmitter working? Steel? Loud and clear. I've got visual contact with Miss Lane down here with me, too. Supergirl? I'm here, Cal. Superboy? Superboy! Connell, can you read me? The Reign of Emperor Joker, Part 6 You say you want a revolution? Joker City Harbor formerly known as Gotham City, dead of night. He ducks under the surface and sees a school of laughing fish attacking Superboy and Supergirl. <laughs> ah, oh, this was a great plan. If the plan was to get us killed... Superman, these Joker-faced piranhas appeared out of nowhere. Superman incinerates the lead fish with heat vision. <laughs> I hate to take the life of any creature. But I'm sure these piranhas aren't even real. What are you talking about? Of course they're real. I've got the bite marks on my butt to prove it. I think he was more referring to the magical nature of the creatures. Oh, I knew that. Superboy and Supergirl fight the rest, but then they stream away in a line. <laughs> yeah, baby, we got him on the run. No, I think we had help. Superman surfaces and sees Aquaman aboard his ship, the Atlantis. I hoped it was you. I know you can read my thoughts. If so, welcome back to the fight, Aquaman. Aqualung lad, we're shoving off. Thought I saw something in the water. 
but there's nothing for us here. The ship turns and sails away. Superman, we're at the checkpoint. That's it, Miss Lane. I can feel it starting to give. Lois and Steele open a gateway underwater. <coughs> and they all enter. We're in. The Emperor's Throne Room. The Ha Ha Sienda. Joker City. But it's not fair, Puddin. That's Emperor put into you, my babe in waiting. You got the whole world, and all I want is a little place of my own on the Joycey Shore. Harleyburg. Harleyburg? Harleyburg? It's just a little itty bitty place. One sec. Time for roll call. Bizarro? Me no am here. Schism? Presence, your joker ship. Grave digger lad? Happy to be here. Heck, I'm happy to be anywhere. Heh. <laughs> Funny. Leave the jokes to me, kid. Um, you. Gorgeous guinea? Why don't you come up and see me sometime, big boy? Lex? Lex's body remains on the floor, now with a kick-me sign on his back. Lex! Ah, would someone explain to this moron who is bleeding all over my floor that when his name is called, he is supposed to respond? Oh, wait, I forgot. I killed him. He's dead. Hmm. Well, I'll just have to fix that. Lex's blood returns to his body, and he stands up alive once more. Whoop! Joker! Nobody, and I mean nobody, treats Lex Luthor this way! I know the truth. You're nothing. You're not an emperor. You're nothing more than an inmate Boring! Joker shoots him again. Now then, you are saying something, Harley? Oh, <laughs> it was nothing, your royal emperor Joker, Puddin, sir. Then we're agreed. While Mixes Pitlick conserves his power, our job is to keep the Joker busy. You can leave that to me and Steel. Good. Superboy, Supergirl, and I will try to find Batman. If he's still alive, he's our last, best hope of defeating the Joker. Look, I've gone along with all of this so far. I can't say that I remember everything about what you told us. How we were heroes once, not criminals. And I'm even willing to buy that some imp from the fifth dimension is responsible. But when all of us were wearing those transmitter plugs and we could hear each other, how come we couldn't hear this Lois Lane? This battlesuit operates off my psionic link with it. The Lane Corp teleplugs interfere with that transmission. Says you. How do we know we can trust her? Lois, you don't have to answer that. You don't have to stick up for me, Superman. But it's awful sweet of you two anyway. Lois picks Superman up and kisses him. Mm. Mm. What the? She didn't answer my question. Superboy, are you blind? He loves her, and she loves him. This way, Steel. The rest of you, take care of yourselves. It's called faith, Superboy. If you believe in Superman, you've got to believe in Lois. I guess. The Super Squad stops, seeing Joker's massive Ha Hacienda building in the distance. It's... it's even worse than Mitch's Pitlick described. Even at its bleakest, during No Man's Land, Gotham City still stood proudly. When the Joker has even greater control of his power, is any place safe? Sick. This is one sick individual. Give it up now, Superman. Suddenly, bullets come streaking towards the heroes. Huh? huh? The reward for you all is dead or alive. Makes no difference to me. If Bounty has found us, the rest of the Joker's JLA can't be far behind. Let's split up. Right, it's up to us to lose this loser. Superman, Superboy, and Supergirl fly off in different directions with the bullets following them. Are these teleplugs still on? We can hear you, kid. Then don't ask any questions. Just follow my lead, okay? What have you got in mind? What part of don't ask any questions didn't you understand, Supergirl? Uh. You can all head into deep space, but it won't do you a lick of good. Once those bullets have locked onto your DNA, they'll follow you to the end of the universe. The others follow Superboy. What in the name of Sam Lane? They all turn around in the sky. Get a move on, Ross Bucket. One thing I learned flipping burgers, what goes around, comes around. Leading Bounty's bullets back to him before diving away. Bushwhack! Dang.
bounty is blown out of the sky. Huh. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. I'm not sure why, but coming from you, that means something. Hopefully by now, Lois and Steel have reached their- <laughs> No! Superman watches with helpless horror as Ignition blasts Superboy and Supergirl into oblivion. Ignition! If they are dead, so are you! Do not presume to threaten me, son of Jor-El. You barely comprehend the forces at work here. But when your body is bent and broken, you will then kneel before... <laughs> Ignition fires, but Bizarro zooms by, pulling Superman out of the way. No! That kill was mine! Goodbye, Superman! Bizarro? Why? Me tell you a secret. Ignition forget now. Bizarro number one gets to keep Superman alive. Me now punch you in the face as softly as me can. <sighs> in your words, Bizarro, me have plenty of time for this. Superman crushes Bizarro's number one medallion and hands him the pieces. <laughs> Here, these are yours. <laughs> me am so happy, me stay with Superman now and fight. Bizarro flies away. Hello. <sighs> uh, madness. Lois crashes through a wall into the Joker's throne room with an unconscious steel as her prize. <laughs> Brought you a little present, Joker. Hopefully he'll stay fresh in that can. Doesn't anybody knock anymore? Emperor, want me to dig the chick a grave? Well, let's not get too hasty, Jimmy old boy. I, for one, would like to hear what Miss Lane has to say. Good. I'd like to make you a little business proposition, then. Can't find a trace of Superboy or Supergirl, and Steel should have reported in by now. If anything has happened to Lois... Every night, that, that same cry. Superman flies to investigate the source of the screams. Here? He arrives at the GCPD building to find Batman nailed to its door. Batman. Or rather, Batman's scarred corpse. Ah, uh, he's dead. Go on to our next chapter, where we have to say it, the Dark Knight returns, but not how you think. The Reign of Emperor Joker, Part 7 Life is but a very bad dream. Joker City Police Station, Dawn Batman! The cops rush at Superman, but he sweeps them away with a wave of his hand. <laughs> Superman removes the stakes holding Batman up and takes his friend's body down. He sheds a tear for Batman before his eyes burn with heat vision. <coughs> Having buried Batman in a graveyard of generic dead people, he burns an epitaph into a tombstone reading, Batman, a true hero. <sighs> Superman flies away. And as it begins to rain on Batman's grave, the dirt is disturbed. A black gloved hand bursts from the ground. And Batman claws his way out of his own grave. Superboy and Supergirl find themselves in the Joker's version of Hell, hosted by the demonic Lord Satanus. There are an infinite number of hells in an infinite number of so-called realities. So what's one more to me? You see, existence itself is nothing more than energy. His energy, I'm ashamed to say. But let's not discuss that. A quantum dream, each of us floating in a bubble that contains our personal universes, our individual illusions and fancies. All these little universes intersecting, but no one dream in control. What the Joker has done, at least on one plane of creation, is usurp the dream, forcing his universe into all those infinite bubble universes, remaking the consensus reality in his own image. Now, all of this is true, 
And it isn't. There's just so much your limited brains are capable of absorbing. As for me, much like, you should excuse the expression, God, I exist in all these dreams simultaneously. In fact, I'd be more than happy to slip you into any dream of your choosing, pre-existing or tailored to your specific needs. And all I require in return is... Well, do I even have to say it? Our... our souls? Such as they are. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Knock that off, will you please? All that praying's giving me a migraine. Joker. Jo... Ugh. <sighs> Batman stumbles and collapses on the ground. Superman helps him back up. How? As I was leaving, I heard your heartbeat. The sounds of you clawing your way up, out of the grave. Superman? Is it... is it really you? I'm real, Batman, and together I know we can bring that lunatic down. Maybe. I've reached the point where I've come to doubt my own existence. I've never known you to doubt your abilities, or mine. Can't remember anything clearly, except the pain. Every night he's done this to me. Every night I've died, only to be resurrected, so that he can begin the torture again. What in the name of heaven? Suddenly, zombie clowns begin to dig their way out of the other graves, singing a familiar theme song. <laughs> Same thing, over and over. I fight them, use every ounce of will and strength. The clowns swarm over Batman, picking him up and carrying him away. But it doesn't do any good! Batman! 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 It doesn't do any good. They dogpile Superman as well. Batman! Whatever he's done to you, however twisted, however horrible, you can't give up! We can't give up! Superman breaks free of the clown heap, sending them all flying back. <laughs> this isn't a question of your life or mine. This is a question of billions of lives, of the survival of reality itself. You're the most willful, the most tenacious, the most courageous man I've ever known. Use that will. Push against him. Against this nightmare he's created. Behind you, for just an instant, Gotham. My Gotham, not the Joker's. My Gotham! Batman flips over the clowns to Superman's side. <sighs> and another world's finest heroes both begin to fight back. <laughs> <laughs> you know it now, don't you? Together, we can restore the world! And I hope that sick animal can feel it. Can feel us. And I hope that he's very, very scared. Joker, the Emperor, feels a disturbance in the Force. Ah! What was that? Somebody has altered my will? Somebody is waking up from my nightmare? It's them! I know it! The Bat and the Boy Scout! The, this is terrible! This is disastrous! This is... Wonderful! A little challenge! Some added chaos! I love it! while Lord Satanus tempts the young Superboy. So, which reality would you like, young man? Perhaps one where your beloved Tana is still alive? It can be done, my boy. It can be done. Tana, if, if I could just see her again, if... Don't be seduced by his lies. You know we have to go back. Our world needs us. Superman needs us. Y you're right. The S-Man. We gotta help him. Meh. Suit yourselves. <laughs> there aren't many hells I could send you to. That'd be worse than the one that Joker has waiting for you. In a puff of smoke, Satanus returns Superboy and Supergirl to life, such as it is here. And they appear by Superman and Batman. <laughs> wow, do we get frequent flyer miles for this? Welcome back. Aren't you the least bit surprised to see us just popping in like this? No. So what's the plan? I... Assume you've got one? Always. Our assault on the Emperor will fail if we work only on the physical plane. 
It was belief that shifted the reality in our battle with the Joker zombies. And it's belief that's going to win this war in the end. Mr. Mitch's pitlick washes out of a sewer pipe. <sighs> that's right. We gotta hit the yes where he lives in his twisted little mind. Oh, great. Is that any way to say hi to a guy who's been popping in and out of existence uncontrollably? You know, since the Joker swiped most of my power, I... Zip it, Mitch's pitlick. Yes, sir, Mr. Superman, sir. I think... I just may be able to transport us into the Joker's soul, but only if our collective faith is strong enough to. Joker appears as a giant dressed like a Roman emperor. Faith? Oh, come now. Need I remind you, and it appears I do, that this is all my dream, and faith in anyone or anything other than your beloved emperor will lead you down the same bloody trail it led this adorable little Judas. Lois! What's left of her? But, just to show you how generous I am, she's all yours. Joker drops Lois, and Superman catches her. <sighs> now, let me make this perfectly clear to you dancers and dunderheads. I am the architect of this holographic hallucination. Everything you think, say, do, feel, see, is because I make it so. And if it's war you want, it's war you'll get! Suddenly, both versions of the Justice League appear and begin fighting each other. <laughs> Go ahead, my gallant gladiators, my costumed chickadees. I brought you all to my Colosseum, heroes and villains alike, so that you can do what you do best. Beat each other's brains out! <laughs> oh. I just love a good laugh, don't you? But Nixie and the Super Squad have already been transported by Supergirl. Are we actually inside that maniac's soul? Using the remains of Nixie's magic and my own energies as a spiritual channel, that's exactly where we are. Wowza, what a view! Batman, Superman, Superboy, you have to focus your mind as you never have before. Matrix unfurls her flame wings. <sighs> With a little luck, a little grace, our united belief, our united faith, will take the monster apart from the inside out. Radiant light shines from her, driving goblin-like creatures away. <laughs> As the gigantic Joker rests in the clouds above his battlefield, light bursts out from his head. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg, Batmobile lost its wheel and... Oh no! Oh no! Oh! No! Just hang on, Lois. It won't be long now. You're right. Lois reveals a glowing green ring and uses it on Superman. Mm. Oh! It won't. Kryptonite? Just what the Emperor ordered. You traitorous witch! She was in with the Joker all along! <laughs> Go ahead. Take the ring. It doesn't matter now. Look at him. Just the knowledge that I betrayed him and allied myself with the Emperor, Lois, is enough to shatter his faith in me, in himself, in all of you. And without Superman's formidable will to anchor you, the Joker's grinning mouth appears. The game is over. See, I told you it was my dream, and I can dream it any way I want to. And just to irrefutably prove my point, in a way that even you morons will understand. I think it's time to... The fuses on all the giant Acme bombs alight. Dare I say it? Destroy the universe! Reality shatters into uncountable pieces like glass. And it reforms again, just as quickly, with Emperor Joker and Lois in twin thrones and all the superheroes turned into caped animals. Of course, there's no point in destroying the universe if you can't put it back together again, just the way you want it. Ain't that right, Empress Lois? Absolutely, darling. Absolutely. Say woof, Superman. Woof! No, gentle reader, your eyes aren't deceiving you. This isn't a hoax a trick, or an imaginary story. Well, they're all imaginary stories, but let's not get into that. Our valiant heroes have been transformed into... 
Super Pets. And if you think that's bizarre, wait till you see what happens next. All the world his stage. Now this is a peaceable kingdom to my liking. All my frantic little rebels all about me, tamed and trained and loyal. The super dog heals. Good dog, Superman. The super cat chases some costumed mice. <whistles> Supergirl, I see your predatory nature has asserted itself, while your fellow erstwhile insurrectionists, the jerkwater losers of America, react like the brainless, harmless vermin we all know them to be. The super monkey juggles. Superboy, as always, your true talent lies in clowning. We could almost work together, my boy. We'd knock em dead in old tuna. The super horse rears while Gilly grips his reins. Rrr! Steel, my man, so very proud, so very stubborn, so in need of a good woman to break you. Keep swinging that golden shovel, gravedigger lad. Yeah. <laughs> We all must pitch in and help with the care and feeding of our new super pets. Emperor Joker holds Mixie in a ball of energy. And you, Mr. Mixie's Pitlick, my unwitting yet dangerous benefactor. This formless blob of protoplasmic slime somehow seems to suit the futility of the life you lead these days. Eh heh heh. Ha. Ha. Emperor Joker, Part 8. All the world his stage. Too weird. This is too weird. Everything happening too fast. Must stay c calm. Beside the Joker's throne, Batman is tied to a giant roulette wheel, once again in his human form. <laughs> ah, what's the matter, Lois Lane, my queen? Don't you like our new bestiary? Doesn't Superman's wordless display of canine love and loyalty pull at your heartstrings? Ha ha! I did understand correctly, didn't I, that you wished to be my queen? I thought this rejigged reality would only make you happy. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Achoo! Mm. My allergies. Damnable cur! Let me handle this wretch, my emperor! Using his powers, Gravedigger Lad drops a fire hydrant on the Dog of Steel, squishing him. Now, <laughs> oh. Eh. There you go, boss. Superman isn't about to soil your royal pants leg ever again. No siree. Huh? Eh, eh? Hmm. Sorry, kid. Try as I might, I just can't find anything funny in beating a dumb animal. And my world is all about good, clean entertainment. Huge robotic clowns plow through the wall. <laughs> they spring at Jimmy and pummel him with giant rubber chickens. <laughs> <laughs> now that was funny. Don't you agree, my ladies? But our dear departed gravedigger lad has pointed up the comedic limitations of working with animals. Humans are so much more fun to mess with. I mean, am I right or what, Cape Crusader? I need to take a different tack, don't I, Bats? I need to start looking at the bigger picture. So, enough with the damn animals. Jeboas and lemmings of the animal kingdom, return to your previous incarnations in your crumbling HQ. Super Duper Team, stand by for a new direction of my choosing. But you, dear Dangerous Mixie, you stay as is. Enigma, take Magic Boy here and see that he's kept occupied. The imp has no part in the little morality play I've in mind. Joker hands Mixie's ball to Enigma. He's really trying too hard for his laughs, don't you think? Another sign that his world is starting to fall apart. You should start thinking about creating your own world, Enigma. Or can I call you Riddler? Everybody, find a seat, while Professor Joker brings you up to speed on the principles of my latest world order. I've decided that it is high time that Superman and his friends began earning their keep. They will now be filling life roles that will serve to illustrate to the world the unseemly fate of social rebels. Emperor Joker sits next to Batman, taped to his seat, and schism. 
while Empress Lois sits with the jester, Luther. Superman will be performing a public service as he becomes so physically shattered that he begs to serve my will. And, oh, I thought you might benefit from watching his plight too, Bats, in conveniently condensed docudrama format from the comfort of my theater of the bazaar, knowing that the rest of the world is also watching this mandatory television braincast of Superman's wretched life and learning of the bitter fruits of rebellion. What, my queen? You prefer not to sit next to the bat and me? <laughs> Very well, then. The brain cast is about to begin. The theater curtains part to reveal a television screen. <laughs> Joker World Entertainment Limited presents Where? Where am I? An Emperor Joker brain cast production of Everything's so foggy. I don't... I don't belong here. Superman, shame of Metropolis. Superman walks down a darkened alley with his parents. Who are these people? Can't quite remember why. Starring, oh, it isn't important. But I know I don't belong here. Created, produced, directed, and handcrafted by Emperor Joker. This is all wrong. Suddenly, two gangsters accost them. Hold up, folks, we need to talk with Jews. Superman stands between them and his parents. You people get back. Those men have guns. Look out, Rudy. The kid's going on a rampage. The gunman opened fire. <laughs> Superman! Run! Their bullets ricochet off his chest and the walls of the alley, hitting his parents in their backs. <laughs> They're dead. How, how could this? You monster. You killed your own parents. If only you hadn't resisted. If only you just followed the law of the Joker. Tears fall from Batman's eyes while the Joker chomps popcorn. Oh my, I don't think the big lungs saw that one coming. <laughs> I'm enjoying this show very much. Aren't you? Uh, Lois. Lois Lane. I know the Joker has recreated you in my image, here in this twisted world of his, so I'm gambling that you're perceptive enough to appreciate what I'm going to tell you. Listen and believe. You can't win this way. The people of the world are also forced to watch along as Superman works as a comic book artist alongside ant-headed drones. Many years later, Superman's descent into perversity continues. But what? What am I doing here? You are such a card, Superman. You're the man who gets to draw the world's funniest comics magazine. The Adventures of Krypton Man. You are kicking butt, man. Wish I wasn't still stuck churning out bizarre number one funnies. Krypton Man is where it's all happening. Say, what are you working on there? I'm not sure, uh, Hank. Superman's drawing board is filled with images of the old Justice League. Just scribbles. Some costumes or characters I guess I created. Guess I wish I was working with these guys instead. Jeez, man, those aren't authorized. You better destroy them before... Or up in the air. It's a piranha. It's a rocket. It's Krypton Man. The wall crumbles as a flying man enters. <laughs> Krypton Man, here. Our hero and best-selling property. At ease, fans and friends. I just stopped by to see how work was proceeding on my comics adventures. Say, does my Krypton vision reveal what I think it does? He picks up Superman's papers. These are unauthorized and potentially disruptive drawings, mister. I think Emperor Joker is going to want to deal with your criminal talents himself. Krypton Man takes Superman by the arm. No! I won't be taken to him! Superman smacks his hand away. <laughs> Krypton Man is flung across the bullpen, destroying everything in his path. <laughs> you... You inhuman monster! You've killed them all! All your trusting co-workers! Even your best friend! You're an out-of-control freak who destroys everything he touches! And I swear I'll never rest until I track you down and bring you to Joker! Superman flees the scene of the carnage. Oh dear, your friend seems particularly flummoxed by this turn of events. I don't think he ever imagined himself a mass murderer. Won't. Work, L laughing, B boy, w won't w work. 
no matter what you think, you are never going to be safe in the Joker's game. The cards are all marked. For all our sakes, you must choose Superman. In the Hall of Jerkos, the ex-JLA are also forced to watch as Superman returns home. Horrible! Horrible! This is a nightmare! It... it can't be really happening. All those bodies! Did I really do all that? Did I kill them? Good lord! How could everything go so wrong? And where am I now? Dad! Super Burger Boy and Supergirl rush to greet him. Thank Joker! you finally come back home! We've been so worried. The radio reports have kept us posted on your rampage. The millions of people you've killed in your efforts to escape Krypton Man. Millions of... That... That isn't right. Can't be true. I don't understand, Daddy. How could you be such a monster? I'm so frightened. Please hold me. Hold me. <coughs> Superman gently takes Supergirl in his arms, but her body snaps like a twig. She's... She's dead. You... You crushed her with your super strength! No! No! I... I didn't! I couldn't! How... How can this be happening? Everyone I touch! Everyone close to me! It's... It's just too much! Superman's eyes begin to glow. It's wrong! All wrong! Heat vision blasts out from them, burning a hole through Superboy. Shush! Superboy! No! How? What is wrong with me? Too, too much. I, I destroy everyone I l love. Everyone and everything. Krypton Man smashes through the wall of the house. <laughs> at last, at last I've cornered you in your den, you monster. Are you prepared to bow before your Lord Joker? To commit to his game plan? No! Superman charges forward to meet him. I am become the destroyer, the destroyer of worlds. The force of their collision obliterates the world in an enormous mushroom cloud. <laughs> A card appears, reading, Sorry, we are experiencing technical difficulties. Trouble is not in your set. What? That's not the way I wanted this to end. I don't want the big lummox dead. I want it broken. He <laughs> he. Out fox, foxed you, T took himself out of the game before you could f figure out what would break him. Uh, his death can be undone, bats for brains. But what do you know about what it will take to break him? Schism, come here. There's a crack in the psychic wall of our guest I need explored. <laughs> Superman finds himself floating in space. So, is this what death is all about these days? Where am I? He is addressed by a gigantic figure. Who? Please don't tell me that you, Kal-El, Clark Kent, Superman, are so far gone that you would not recognize your old comrade, the Spectre. Please do not tell me that you are so far gone. With the last gasp of my failing will, I reach out to you through this transitory state of energy reconfiguration you have entered, in the hope that your will, your sense of purpose, still remains the strongest in all creation. We are all very close to absolute annihilation, Kal-El. With his uncontrolled manipulations of reality, he is tearing apart the fundamental fabric of the cosmos. Yes, I can almost remember. I do know you. With every cruel whim, with every mad impulse, the Joker has brought us all to the very brink. Not even an adept can tinker with the essential nature of everything without repercussions, and the Joker is no adept. He is only the beneficiary of an incredible web of cosmic bad luck. It all depends on you, Kal-El. If you cannot find the strength to continue to fight him, if you cannot counter and thwart him, then very soon he will pull at the weave once too often, and the threads will give way, and everything will unravel. 
Not just your Earth, not just your universe, but everything that is, was, or will be. It has all come down to you. But if so much is at stake, why haven't you moved against the Joker? Why? Because, Kal-El, it is taking all my remaining will just to pass on this feeble alarm. Because very soon he will have me helplessly caged like all the others. The specter pulls back his hood enough to reveal the uncontrollable grin on his chalk-white face. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, back to your seats. Thanks to the Batman's reluctant input, my brain cast will now conclude as originally intended. Uh, this is going to be rich. Who'd have thunk Lois Lane would mean so much to him? Batman grins as Emperor Joker prepares to resume his program. Another card reads, Thank you for your patience. We now return to our interrupted brain cast. The scene resumes with Superman weeping over the corpses of Superboy and Supergirl. What? What is wrong with me? I... I destroy everyone I l love. Everyone and everything. Oh, hell! He did do it! Uh, Lois! Lois Lane! You... you came to me! In my darkest moment. Luther was right. That two-timing loon threw me into his braincast world. Is Joker testing me? Am I supposed to break Superman? Or am I supposed to just die? Or... Through all this madness, you must know. I'd almost forgotten. But you've been the one who's kept me from crumbling. Yeah, yeah, sure. Listen, Big Blue. For better or worse, it looks like we've been thrown together and... Big Blue... Why did you call me Big Blue? I... I don't know. I... Who cares? The important thing is, we've got to scram! Don't you realize there's a first-class disaster headed this way? <laughs> Krypton Man breaks through the wall again. At last! At last I've cornered you in your den, you monster! Nuts! Get us out of here, Superman! Y yes Must get you out of harm's way before I... Superman flies out the window with Lois. <laughs> But she goes limp in his arms. Lois? Lois! Her neck uh, snapped. My acceleration strain too great. I c c killed her. Oh, Lois! <laughs> Lois. Now I've lost everyone. Now I've killed everyone. I, I am a monster. No, no, Lois Lane came to me. She knew something was wrong. I saw it in her eyes. She believed in me. And that's more than enough. She brought it all back. She made it all clear and true. There is more than this endless madness. This isn't my world. The color returns to Superman's costume as he shouts into the sky. Do you hear me, Joker? I will never bow to your lunacy. I will never give in to a world so mindlessly cruel. The world begins to break around him. I will always fight for a better world. For all the victims. For Lois. Here. <laughs> fooey, fooey, fooey. Nah, to hell with this stupid brain cast. No one is following the script. I want everyone back the way they were before. Fooey. Superman wasn't breaking. No, he was having another breakthrough. Superman is having another breakthrough. He beat the Joker's bid to break him. Amazing. He beat the Joker. He's still defiant. He really, really believes in this better world of his. And, and those costumes he drew, they did look right. They looked revolutionary. Inspired by Superman's example, the Justice League have all returned to normal. Superman's faith is unbreakable, and now his will is manifest. He told the truth. The Joker's control is not absolute. It is not the be-all and end-all. Look at us. 
We are the reborn proof of that. We believe, and His Word becomes our reality. We can do no less than follow His vision of a better world. Justice League, today the world changes. Prepare for an assault on the heart of madness. Prepare to storm Joker's city. Our story concludes in the next chapter. The Last Chapter Emperor Joker unleashes huge blasts of cosmic power all around him. <coughs> next time I say, freeze, this finger is loaded, maybe you'll believe me. No! No! The Reign of Emperor Joker, Part 9 He Who Laughs Last The members of the Restored Justice League all lie murdered on the ground. Martian Manhunter and Plastic Man have been stretched beyond their shape-shifting limits. Green Lantern has been bent in half backwards. Wonder Woman lies crumbled as the magic clay she was born from. Aquaman has been gutted by razor-toothed fish. And the Flash's empty costume hangs tattered in the wind. What? No, I'm serious. What? I don't get it. No! <laughs> ah, this god gig gets better and better each day. Now, a brief repose. Perhaps some Cavossier? Madman, I'll tear you. <sighs> no. Superman rushes at Joker, but he is knocked down by ignition. Boy, I don't know who you really are, but I think you've got a future in this organization. Maybe we need name tags. Ignition. J Joker, listen to me. For heaven's sake, this power you wield is literally tearing the universe apart. You, you must put things right, or else we all die. Everyone. What? You mean my mucking about with reality itself has repercussions? Man was not meant to have the power of God? I, Joker, may destroy the life of every living thing in the universe? No, da. Tee hee. Oh, Vanna. Harley brings Joker a birdcage. On the way, Emperor Jay. Inside it, a tiny specter chuckles to himself. Ha, <sighs> hoo. Ha! A little ghost bird already told me what my diddlings and fiddlings were doing to the brief history of time. And I never heard anything funnier! Ha oh, ha! That's why tomorrow I'm murdering everyone in the universe forever. Think of it! The culmination of a life's work! The ultimate extension of the id unleashed! Ha oh, ha! Cosmosicide! Joker and making truth! Wrong? He's... he's got to be hushed, puppy. After all, he is the Joker, right? Ain't he? Are you listening to me? This isn't a game anymore! Superman grabs at Joker in desperation. You're getting super sweat on my robes. Ooh! You're tearing apart the fabric of reality! No one will survive! Especially not you! Do you really want to die? Uh, Superman, I... I'm hurting inside. The voices, the visions. I just want it all to stop before it's too late. Stop me, Superman. Stop me. Oh. <laughs> you have the power. Just wish it. End this and undo the damage you've done. Oh. <laughs> hey. And that was the scene from my new play, The Day I Whacked Everything. Playing in asylums across the country. An Oscar appears in Joker's hand as he kicks Superman away. <laughs> you like me. You really like me. Bizarro picks up the unconscious Superman. Hang him next to the bat. Tomorrow, they die first. And if any of you have any loved ones, call them. Tomorrow, the lines may be tied up. <laughs> the ultimate riddle posed, but this is not the answer that suits my taste. Lois sits alone in her bedchamber, deep in thought. Why? I stand at the apex. I am my dreams. I've slain my enemies and become empress of all there is. So why can't I stop thinking about him and his wide eyes? 
and the schoolboy way he looks it looks through me. Why have I let a condemned criminal steal my heart? I know what you're thinking, Ham Hawks. Emperor Joker. Don't be cross at me for snooping, but the drippings from your brain bag are all over the room, floating like big captions. Love your font. A plus for penmanship. But I ain't ticked, not even docked. I just wanted to assure you that you made the right choice dumping Spitker Lad for moi. Joker wraps his arms around her. Sure, I can be difficult. I eat crackers in bed, and I never put the cap back on the rat poison. And occasionally I'll snap your neck to prove a point. But you won the lottery, kid. You're Chick Supreme of the universe. And it's going to keep you alive. Really? Sure. I can't repopulate the cosmos all by my lonesome. Little Joker Jr. needs a mama. Picture it. Me, you, a box of cheap wine, and ten thousand years of dancing. Dead sexy, baby, yeah! Sounds divine, really. Can you tell what I'm thinking now? Can you? Batman and Superman had been hung on a wall. Hardly one of our world's finest moments, is it? Batman's mouth has been grown over with skin, and Superman's arms and head are locked in power-neutralizing devices. Uh, sorry. I know you can't answer me, but I'm not accustomed to helplessness. I don't know what to do with myself. How do we stop a psychotic with the powers of a god? Hmm. Batman clicks his teeth in a rhythm. Morse code. He left you a jaw. You really are the best, aren't you? The best that ever was. Okay, Batman, save the day. Tell me what to do. K-I-L. Huh? Kill him? Th that's your plan? Mm. Batman, I... There has to be another way. You must have another idea. Batman scowls at him. Good lord. What has he done to you? A huge flock of vultures swoop down out of the sky. What's that? Batman? Bruce! The birds swarm over Batman and begin ripping out pieces of him with their beaks and talons. I can't think over the sound of tearing flesh and cracking bone and my own cursing for having ears that can hear a flea leap. Each feather stroke against his skin is like sandpaper. Each bite, crisp thunder. The mouthless scream. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard a human being make such sounds. And then I realize, with blood-red clarity, how wrong I am. He's gone through this every night since the madness began. Every night, he's tortured to death. The only constant in Joker's nightmare. <laughs> every night. There are so many ways to kill a man listening to my friend disappear in chunks down the digestive tracts of demons. I go through them all. Meanwhile, Enigma visits Mixie in his cell. It boggles the mind, even a mind as labyrinthine as my own. Can the Emperor truly do what he claims? At this point, Enigma, the Joker destroying the universe is about as tough as you pulling on socks. It's a done deal. Unless... He enlists Bizarro and Ignition. Not a hoax, Ignition. Not a dream. Should this come to pass? Bizarro feel hot. Someone not hold me. Hold yourself, fool. What must be done? Ignition retrieves Lex Luthor. Finally, I was certain even the dimmest of you would realize your salvation lay with me. But I never thought it would take so blasted long. Silence, insect. You are only useful to one with vision, understanding. I am that one. Sure, whatever you say, boss. After all, you're the genius who signed on with the Joker voluntarily. And brings him to Empress Lois. My dear, please, I know this is difficult to process. But I can't, I can't remember anything but this. How can I convince him of anything when I don't believe? Then you'll have to act now, won't you? Lucky you, he's a captive audience and not much of a critic. 
Harley meekly approaches her emperor. I know things are different now between us. You know, I ain't babe and waiting anymore. You're all omnipotent. I understand relationships have their bumps, and I'm okay with that. But I gotta ask, well, why are you gonna destroy the universe and everything? Oh, you poor, mixed-up kid. It all sounds so big and scary, doesn't it? Words like gigicide and oblivion and 401k. Let's see if I can ease your pretty little peanut of a brain. The world, scratch that, the whole wad, as I've come to understand it, through intimate and inappropriate conduct, is sick, flawed, broken. There is not, never was, never will be a master plan, a divine order, or a gentle white-bearded shepherd who will instill harmony in the wee bands of the galaxial host. The whole thing is one big botch job, and we're all suffering for it. Be it behind a desk or in a straitjacket, everyone feels the pain of this life. Listen, help me, I am in pain. That was you. I speak for my kingdom, what can I say? Tomorrow, when I unleash my mojo and go for the big killer go-go, my utter destruction of all things that are will have a healing effect. For the first time, chaos will be replaced by order. The screaming and the blood and the exploding skulls and such are all me. A thank you to the fans. But you see, Hall, I'm fixing everything. I'm leaving behind a clean, quiet universe. A place where people like me won't ever come into existence. But do I have to die too, Mr. J? All we've been through, all I've done for you. I kind of thought, I don't know, it might count for something. Oh, you coogy kid, come here. Mm. Emperor Joker turns Harley Quinn into a constellation with two bright suns for her tassels. <laughs> You're right, Harley. It should count. For all your tears of service, you get the best seat in the house for Armageddon. Say good night, Harley. I always wanted my dame in lights. <laughs> Even in a moment of abject saccharin, I still got it. Well then, on to the clubbing open of the seventh baby seal. How to begin? There are so many tools available to us. Global ingestion via dust mite? Spontaneous human flagellation with unspooled carrot top videos? Touched by an angel marathon? <laughs> Suddenly Joker is obliterated by a massive energy blast from ignition. And thence, Master, your will is served. I only pray humbly that I may return to your service soon. The rest of Joker's league join him by the flaming crater. <laughs> Damn, if that's not the luckiest shot ever. Luck has been excised from the equation, Scorch. The Emperor indicated on numerous occasions that he did not create ignition and was dumbfounded by his existence. Therefore, I surmised that he would be unable to read his mind or sense his presence, allowing for a close-range attack targeted by schism. And I was right. Looks like there's a new sheriff in town, no? Yes, comrades. Today, we have not only saved the Earth, but also positioned ourselves as its de facto rulers. Now, before the squabbling over land rights and such ensues, allow me to propose a logical power structure. Ignition, Schism, and I shall form a new triumvirate. That's three equal rulers, Bizarro. Then, hello? Am I speaking too quickly here? Eyes on me, please. Behind Enigma, the Joker's gigantic head slowly rises. <laughs> Superman strains against his bonds when Lois comes to him. <laughs> Don't pop anything. You can't break out. Like everything else here, the restraints are magic. You have no power over magic. Lois? That's Empress Lane to you, criminal. Empress of everything. Empress of nothing. Superman, can you stop him? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? 
Hmm. I don't believe you can. I know that's not what you want to hear. But it's how I feel. It's what I know. I don't believe in you. Then it's all over. I don't believe in you, which is why I'm here, on my knees, begging you to make me believe. Make me believe in you. Please. <laughs> <gasps> Emperor Joker puts his foot down. At two, Lois, a guy turns his back for 13 seconds so he can figure out an atypical way of obliterating every molecule of existence, and his crew goes native on him. Which part of Joker is God don't you mouth breathers understand? You are nothing. I am everything. I win. He stomps Superman into the ground. <laughs> Superman. Sorry, Lou, but he really should have known better than to rob another man's rhubarb. He was trying to help us. Save us. Um, you really haven't been paying attention, have you? Perhaps if I explain in the universal language. I'm home wrecking across the universe, tearing up the carpeting and mangling the verse. The blood is gonna rain like rain, the galaxy will scream in pain again and again and again and again! Until it all goes pfft. Emperor Joker spins cosmic entities in a whirlwind in the sky, including Dead Man, Wave Rider, Doctor Fate, Edric and the Demon, Ganthet, Darkseid, and Phantom Stranger. <sighs> Meanwhile, my two favorite toys get to play along in the fun. He picks up Empress Lois and Batman in his hands. Pick a country, any country, and I'll make everyone there doodle razor blades. It's really happening. Why didn't I believe it sooner? <laughs> the Joker crushes Lois's body like a toy. Oops, darn foreign parts. No strength to the... Sculpt? His foot begins to shake. There's something in my shoe. <laughs> Superman bursts out of the Joker's forehead, rocketing upwards and trailing tiny skulls in his wake. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Superman catches Empress Lois as she falls from his crumbling hand. <laughs> Hold on, Lois, I've got you. Lois, you're breathing. I thought you were... He flies away from Emperor Joker as he splits down the middle with crackling energy streaming out from his enormous form. <laughs> Your ribs. You punctured a lung. Internal bleeding. Clark. Heart. I have to. Clark. Blood seeps out from her gown. You called me Clark. Th thought you were dead. Suddenly, everything was meaningless. Without... You and my world, there was nothing else. Lois. Thank you for getting my life back, even if it is just for a moment. Superman gently lays her down as she returns to normal. Ah. <sighs> Ahem. You made my face go explody and swam up through my guts. I felt that. Joker smashes Superman with a rubber chicken, knocking out one of his teeth and sending him flying. <laughs> Mr. Mitch's Pitlick climbs out of Ignition's armor. Hello, bumpy landing. What happened out? Oh, thanks for the ride, Clyde. I promise I won't forget our little agreement. Assuming anyone lives long enough to call in the marker. Mixie sees Superman headed for orbit. You know, that's how it happens, I guess. One day, you're imp of the year, two millennia running. And the next, I'm gonna die penniless and powerless in a peon dimension. Well, not totally powerless. Just enough juice for one last goof. Magical energy sparks from the imp's hand. <laughs> Superman sails through space, away from the cubed Earth. Lois. I'm sorry. So sorry. I hit him with everything I had. Nothing. Nothing. No, that's a lie. I held back. Lord knows if it would have made a difference. But I couldn't kill. And now, I've lost. Mixie stops him. Fourth and nothing and we're deep in it, eh? Who? Mixie's Pidlick. 
Keep it in your sockets, kid. Close them eyes and open the ears. Time's shorter than me right now. I know. This is all my fault. And for what it's worth, I'm sorry on a biblical scale. But it ain't over until all reality is reduced to a single point of infinite gravity. So you still have a few moments to figure out the rules. Rules? Unless making Joker say his name backwards will work, there are no rules. The only man who might know if there were is dead. Again. Mixie taps him on the head. You're not thinking. Joker could obliterate you with a thought, but he doesn't. Why not? Torment. Fun. Rules. What are his rules? His rules? He's mad. How can I comprehend anything he's done or will do? There's no time left. Focus, kid. Rules. Rules. There's only one option. One way to end this. <laughs> You believe that? And it really is game over. Come on, Soups, earn that S. Show me you ain't as dumb as you look. The fifth dimensional imp vanishes with a wink and a smile. So, this guy walks into a bar and says, Ow! My humor, it is subtle. Like this ode to Earth Day. Emperor Joker, wearing Batman on a gold bat-shaped medallion around his neck, dwarfs the sun as he flicks the earth past Superman with one finger. And it crashes into another planet and explodes. <laughs> no! <laughs> Joker! Superman charges at Emperor Joker, growing to match his size. Ooh, are those the eyes of a man driven to the brink? Or just the eyes of someone stuck for three hours at the DMV. I do declare, I'm being super manhandled. He wraps his hands around his neck. Go on, Peaches, I won't stop you. Make the bad god be dead. Clark, don't think. Do it, Clark. Superman chokes Emperor Joker in a rage. Uh, that's it. Now it's coming. Just a little more. Oh my, you've done this. Eh, before, haven't you? I can tell such a eh, gentle touch. <sighs> no, not again. Ever. I'll find a way. Superman flips Joker over, slamming him into a planet and blasting it to pieces. <laughs> huh, still punching a time card and playing nice nice after all this? You really are too stupid to live. You know this, yes? There are rules. We all live by them, Joker. There's no avoiding them. Only rule round these parts, stranger. Is Joker makes the rules. Emperor Joker's fist glows as he punches Superman in his head shield, driving his arm through his chest and impaling the Man of Steel. <laughs> that, and you should never have orange juice after brushing. Yeesh. He plays catch with Superman's heart. What a rip. I thought you had a heart of gold. I wouldn't get three fifty at the butcher shop for this tripe. Don't worry. It's only excruciatingly painful until you die. Superman clings to the sun, struggling to stay alive. <sighs> sun, <sighs> please, need the strength. Drink it up while it lasts. Old soul is good for about thirty seconds before it blows out. Joker takes a bite of Superman's heart. <sighs> Hmm, heroic, and tasty, too. Rules, rules, why couldn't I get the... Superman sees the grim expression on Batman's face as he hangs around Emperor Joker's neck. Hmm, rules, <laughs> white elephants. Eh? Speak up, sunshine, I don't want to miss an iota of your pre-bucket-kicking mental breakdown. And the cosmic gas whistling through your chest cavity is drowning you out. White elephants. The joke. Don't think of white elephants. And it's all you can think of is white elephants. Ah, <sighs> how many times do I have to tell you people? That's not a joke. It's a short-term mnemonic cognition gag. Philistines everywhere I go. <laughs> you don't get it. The color white vanishes from existence, and the Joker's face is only visible in grays. There, happy? No more elephants. Double poop. No more colorful. Either. It no longer exists. Not even as a concept. 
Now shut up and croak. Uh, not those elephants. Your elephant. For all your power, the brain games, your universe can't have meaning without a Batman. But not from Batman, who remains visible normally. What you talking about, Willis? You think <laughs> you have control. No rules apply. But even as a g god, Batman still has power over you. Why haven't you erased him yet? M maybe you can't. Or maybe it was more fun using Bat Spam as my personal chew toy. When will I get to the gut crocheting and skin flaying if I'd wiped him out of existence? Or maybe I was waiting until the big finale. Emperor Joker crushes Batman in his hand. <sniffs> Hate to knock you in the last second gambit, Super Mook. But the huntsman didn't chop open the wolf. Granny is still dinner. And the universe is officially without a Batman. He opens it, revealing a point of shining white light in his palm. Without a who? Gone deaf? I said Bat- I said Batman. I erased Batman. I shouldn't even know the word. Batman? Batman hangs, staked to a planet. Why is there a dead Batman clinging to your anus? There is no Batman. I will it. I will him to be gone, be forgotten, be dead, be bopped forever. You don't say. Why are you smiling? You have a parking garage where your lungs should be. Why are you... Oh, that's not funny. Joker's body begins to dissipate. Various versions of Batman in pain, distress, anger, and death fill the void around them while Superman holds on to the dwindling sun. Hey, Kano, which part of Batman no longer exists don't you understand? Hablo no Batman? Even with the universe at your whim, you can't do it. You can't get Batman out of your head. Can't erase him. Because he's just too big. Bigger than you'll ever be. No, no, no! I'm God! He's a type A in fancy dress! Batman does not rank! Joker blasts each of them out of existence. <laughs> See? Gone! Sent to the cornfield! Off to the races! I still got it! If you can't do something as simple as forget one man, how can you possibly maintain control of all that power? How can you smash planets, unravel the sky, or tear out my heart? Superman takes his hands away from his chest, now fully healed. Answer? You can't. You can't do anything, because it's his world. You're just an annoyance in it. Superman and the Joker look up to see that they exist in a universe composed entirely of Batman before a void of white held in his massive hand. But I'm Emperor. I'm Emperor, see? I've got the new clothes to prove it. Seriously, stop. I don't want my medicine. <sighs> the sun shines on the restored earth as Mixie claps the dust from his hands. His suitcase is packed beside him, signaling his readiness to leave this plane of existence. Call me humble, but in the five hours it took us to reconstruct all of space-time, I think we kicked the old record in the can. Superman and the Spectre float beside him. I guess we did. The whole universe. I still can't fathom it. The damage done by the Joker was grave indeed, Kal-El. But you broke his hold on reality before it became irreversible. All the universe written on the kneecap of a flea, or whatever. Plenty of raw material left to duct tape this backwater dimension back together. Soon as Casper gives the word, time ticks from the point of disruption. Everything back to normal. No one the wiser. Everything? You did say everything, yes? Because if one blade of grass is out of line, one person turns into a chicken or sprouts a third eye, I swear the next time you visit, you'll have to say your name backwards through a wired jaw. Are we clear? b b baccarat so I guess I shouldn't tell you about the surprise I left for your birthday. What? Mixie? Criticism! Mixie vanishes. I supervised the imp's work. He did nothing of consequence while I was with him. Sure. Put that in writing, Spectre. But despite the reconstruction, there are casualties to address. Superman comes to Batman, who sits on a cliff, shuddering. Bruce? 
Mixus Pitlick is gone. Everything has been restored. We can go home now, and... Bruce? <sighs> he put the hand on Bruce's shoulder. <sighs> we did the right thing, you know. Not killing him. I know. It wouldn't have counted. When it happens, I wanted to count. I wanted to be real. Bruce, you don't mean that. Don't tell me what I mean. Don't look at me and think things that... I can't close my eyes, Clark. I can't close them because I see it. All of it. Bruce? He cannot hear you, Kal-El. He will not hear you. Batman has suffered violation and injustice against his person that no one in history has endured. I can't close my eyes because I see him and it and me, pieces and parts, can't close. <sighs> each death cry, each horror resonates within him. Dark vibrations, merciless as the Joker's attentions. They have broken him. The man you know is lost. Only pain remains. No, he'll rebound. He always does. He's the strongest man I know. But he is just a man, Kalel. Just a man. When strong men are pushed until they break, uh, he will not survive this. We just put the universe back together for pity's sake. Do something. Superman grabs the specter's cloak. I cannot. He has kissed death countless times. He has seen... He has been to the end of the universe, Kal-El. Such memories cannot simply be erased. They must be excised, taken. And that I cannot do unless someone is willing to carry them in his stead. Someone who understands the gravity of stealing a man's memories. His pain. Clark looks upon Bruce's shattered face. <laughs> and decides. Ugh. I know what you'd say if you were listening, Bruce. But it can't end like this. Not for you. And especially not because of him. Damn your pain, Bruce. We need you too much. I need you. I'm sorry. Do it. The Spectre excises Batman's memories of the event, and only Superman knows what he went through. Done. Mercy on both your souls, Kal-El. Mercy. Metropolis is back to its normal, which is to say, from a thousand years in the future form. Olsen, get one of the machinists from the planet up here, the biggest pair of pliers I have, and somebody pinch me with it, cause I'm stuck in a nightmare! And there's nothing in the world more normal than Perry White angrily waving a paper in the Daily Planet's bullpen. The greatest hub of commerce, culture, and technology of the Western Hemisphere, and you expect me to publish a summer special with a page one weather report? Well, it was hot, Chief. Anyone that agrees with Olsen can join him on the graveyard ship. The rest of you, get me copy! He storms into his office, slamming the door. <laughs> Perry has a point, but for the life of me, I can't think of a single story to squeeze. Serious. Only thing in my head was this recurring dream I had about tagging along with Superman. Only it wasn't quite him. Bad skin and talked funny, and said me am your biggest enemy a lot. Weird, huh, Lois? Jimmy turns to see that Lois has vanished. Huh? Hello. Rude. Superman swoops through the clouds with Lois in his arms. Are you insane? You have no idea, Lois. The newsroom was packed. Jimmy was rambling. And what if someone saw? You wait until my husband finds out about this tough guy. Then he'll put a mild-mannered beating on you. Clark, what is it? You look like you're going to cry or something. You okay? I... yeah, I'm perfect. Just had a rough day, and I wanted to get a dose of reality. Clark holds Lois close. Superman collects Batman for a minor errand. Dreams, nightmares, and somnambulistic incidents reported citywide. Too many to be a coincidence. So explain to me why exactly I'm in the slab in New York with him, instead of Gotham with them, keeping my city safe. I had a hunch. A what? A hunch? A bad feeling that maybe something wasn't right. 
You get them all the time. I never get hunches. I make intuitive deductions. Clearly, there's a difference because nothing's going on down here. Nothing? You don't get any sense of trouble from him? Hmm. You're hiding something. No, I'm just... It was a hunch, that's all. It happens. Sue me. Hmm. Next time you get a hunch, go juggle some plants. You woke me up. Sorry. You dreaming too? Actually, I wasn't. Strange. I had the best night's sleep of my entire life. Securely bound in a straitjacket suit, Joker lies insensate and oblivious to the world around him, lost in a world of his own delusions, and repeating the same seemingly nonsensical phrase. Rorimpe, rockage, rorimpe, rockage, rorimpe, rockage, rorimpe, rockage, rorimpe, rockage. Deep within his soul, the specter keeps a careful watch. The end. Well, I certainly hope you've enjoyed this presentation of Superman, Emperor Joker. If there is a moral to this story, it might be that every game has rules, and every opponent, no matter how powerful, has a secret weakness they would find themselves unable to overcome if forced to face it directly. A pattern seen in many other stories throughout history. I love this story for all the wacky side gags and odd perspectives. The Joker's madness follows distinct patterns of its own, after all, and it's always fun for the whole world to get turned upside down and to watch Superman have to set things right against unthinkable odds. And I think this story delivers that in one of its purest forms. Oh, and sorry if I overdid it on the explanations in the margins, and you found yourself either watching this twice or pausing all the time to read them all. I figured I might as well cover everything anyone might not get due to their distance from the source material in years or in miles. And doubly sorry if I missed any. It was a lot of work tracking them all down, and I tried to be thorough. If you did enjoy this story, well, the Loeb McGinnis era was just getting started here, and should you choose to follow the Superman books from this period onward, I guarantee you'll like what you find. For a complete collection, the event Superman Y2K did precede this and really kick things off, and most collections will start there. Until next time, take care out there. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll leave you with this text piece by writer Joe Kelly, taken from the collected edition. The Codex Comic-Con It has long been my considered opinion that the responsibility of the comic book creator is to evoke a sobering experience of growth in the reader, with roots steeped in the dramatological legacy of Ibsen and Chekhov, swollen with gravitas and verisimilitude. These are troubled times, and the modern audience craves morality tales that will help guide them through the maelstrom of this conflicted age with solemnity and security. To provide any less than the transformative horror of an inescapable anagnosis, in each comic book is an unforgivable violation of the compact between creator and reader. It is also a score for the terrorists. A comic creator has the ability and the responsibility to prepare their readers for the brutal truths of reality by presenting said brutality through the frosted lens of the action-adventure genre. Though I am loath to use the terms action or adventure, as there is no place for either in the lives of decent people. For example, if there are no aspirational characters in comic book tales, readers will learn to accept the traits of selfishness and cynicism in others, especially their leaders without the usual nagging discomfort. By repressing the instinct to infuse imagination into comic books, the creator sends a powerful message that one should not bother to imagine a better life for oneself, and rather work to maintain the status quo. If there is no humor, witty repartee, or outspoken characters with dissenting opinions, the reader will divine that silence and obedience in the face of oppression, tragedy, and wrong are valuable traits guaranteeing success and acceptance in our society. What greater gift can one give to a stranger? Take this missive as your call to arms, ye students of the anti-hero, the tragic turn, the postmodern dissection of the heroic paradigm. With such a critical mission at hand, insist that comedy be stricken from modern comics along with great feats of daring do and especially unfettered imagination, for whimsy too easily derails the engine of sophistic authenticity. From this day forth, let the word comics pass your lips only to identify those lowbrow street performers like John Stewart, Robin Williams, or Peter Sellers. Instead, call our beloved medium Dramics, 
and insist upon the accurate depiction of life's woes so that our children and our children's children will never tie another towel around their necks and attempt to fly, but will always walk in a straight line, looking obediently at their feet and counting the steps toward an unremarkable life and inevitable disappointing death. Yours in absentiousness, Professor B. Izarro.